right there. Did you seriously just put your hand in my... Am I tasting peanut butter and dish soap? Maybe. It is too early for this, Riley. I have a bad headache, and last night I had way too much... Spicy juice? No. Spicy water? No. Liquid courage? What? The devil's witness? No. A whitewashing? Okay. Nyquil on the rocks? Where are you getting this terminology from? No, no, it's me watch Family Guy. Fantastic. Pop Pop likes the bright colors and profanity. I'm sure he does. Why did you wake me up in the first place? I made a potion. A potion? Out of what? PB and dish soap. Where? In the kitchen. Okay. On the floor. You want to see it? No, I do not want to see it. You girls want a glass of wine? Yeah, Mom, I'll have one. Yeah, me too. Ooh, I'll have one. What? Excuse me? The fuck? You're like 12. If that. Well, I'm 21. Ew. No. Oh, no, God. No. 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 I am. No. No. I drove here. I'm the one that brought the wine. Hey, Can you stop? No, because if you're that old, then we're... Oh, we're fucking old. Ancient, man. No. No. I refuse. Here you go, Alyssa. Thank you. No, put it back. Walk away. You go get her an apple juice. I don't want to hear any of that shit again. Seriously? Miss, are you my Uber? Oh, yes, me. I'm the Uber. Open. Great. <sighs> Amanda. Oh, uh, I'm a... Like a man. Duh. <laughs> okay. But I'm not a man. Got it. I'm actually from across the pond. But I ran out of money. So, Uber. Good for you. So where are you going? Uh, yeah, 2235 Acorn Street. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. No, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you don't have a GPS or anything? Oh, yeah, see, I would, but I can't afford it. I don't have any money. Right, right. But if you could give me, like, a point of interest, like a building or, or a restaurant, I could pinpoint it in my head. Yeah, sure, it's, uh... Like, is it by a Chick-fil-A? Because that's where I go for lunch every day. It's not even close. It's by the museum, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, then? No, I don't know where that is. Oh, my God. Do you know where it is? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Maybe you could drive, then. Is, is that... Am I allowed to... Great! Even... Oh, and can we stop at Chick-fil-A? Because you kind of came in at my lunchtime. Uh, but we can grab you some too. I guess. Cool. Would you be able to pay for it? Because I don't have any money. Because you don't have yeah. any money. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go, okay? Here, just take some money. Oh, what? I'm done. No, I'm done. No, I, no, no. Come back. What's the fifth sucker today? Uh, yeah, two tickets for the movies, please. Sure, so one adult and child. Uh, no, she's actually under three, so she's free. But mom, I'm eight. I mean, I'm three. Yeah. She looks a little older than three. You know what, she's actually, she's got a condition, and it's, it makes her look older than what she is. It's older than she looks at Titus. That's a new one. Okay. And is there any uh, candy in your bag, ma'am? Oh, I, it, I like to bring a change of clothes. I sweat a lot in the theater, so it's just... Mm-hmm. Okay, just go ahead. Oh, this is actually cheap. You know what? This actually isn't my kid, so I'm... <laughs> yeah, you just had to get a new couch. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, perfect. Chris, do you like the new couch that I got? <laughs> uh, I, I don't... Y yes? Tell your father that. But he's right there. Tell him. I like the new couch. No, how about you tell your mother just because something's on sale doesn't mean we need a new one. Uh, okay. Dad says You that... tell him that letting the dog up on the couch and spilling food on it for ten years straight made it look like a dumpster find. Can you repeat that, please? Oh, and who spilled the wine, Kara? Who spilled it? Oh, and who's the reason I drank? <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you even up right now? And did you finish that project? Uh. Yeah, and I still see dishes in the sink? Yes, and I asked you to do those dishes yesterday, and they're still sitting the in the sink. The amount of disrespect in this household, I just can't believe it. I just, I just, I can't. Mm. 
You want to hear something funny? Da. Scout with a boon came here the other day and he asked me out. <laughs> he came here. Yeah. <laughs> to ask you out on a date. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and he knows we're together. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I told him, but he didn't care. <laughs> oh, he did not even care. <laughs> right? Like, oh my god, like really? I don't <laughs> I don't I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> too hilarious, yeah, too hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious, I know. <laughs> you know what else is hilarious? Mm. What? <laughs> the idea of him walking through the forest and me accidentally mistaking him for the vile, rabid, beta male coyote that he is. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina, I'm gonna need you to say out loud that you will not hurt him. Oh, I will not hurt him. Thank you. I will make it quick and painless. Katrina, no. Oh, I kid. You're no fun. All right, Riley, what do you want to be for Halloween this year? A unicorn? No. Okay, uh, do you want to be Elsa again? Nope. Okay, well, I'm not a mind reader, so what do you want to be? This. Are you serious? Yep. No, this costume's like $100. There's no way. Please. Okay, well, I can't buy it, so we can improvise. Okay. Trick or treat! Oh, well, don't you all just look precious. And you are a... A cowboy. Here you go. And you are... Oh, a little astronaut. Here you go, honey. And you are... Oh, what are you exactly, Riley? I'm Batman. Oh, yeah. Right. Is that a garbage bag on her head? Yeah. Okay. Well, what would you like, Riley? My Batman. I mean, Batman. What kind of candy would you like? Justice. Just give her a Snickers or something. Okay. And did you use used hard seltzer cans for ears? Well, we're gonna head out. Okay, come on, Riley. Where is she? Did you really have to go full method with this? Yeah. Oh, my God. Justice. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> okay, young man, that's enough screen time now. No, let me finish. Oh, shit, we got a live one. Huh? Oh, no. Listen here, young man. No, you listen. Oh, my God, he wants an early funeral. He'll be okay if he backtracks and apologizes, though. I hate this place. So what kind of flowers do you think he wants at his funeral? I don't think he's getting a funeral at this point. If that was one of us, we'd be lucky to get cremated in a bonfire up back. True. Yeah. Fine. 20 more minutes. Yay! What the f- Are you kidding me? Where's the justice? Where's the repercussion? You didn't even give him a one, two, three count! Oh, you guys are so dramatic. If that was one of us, we'd be practicing handshakes with the Grim Reaper. Oh, yeah, whatever. Are you serious? Oh, you little bitch. Hey, my little linguini, can you come over here? What's up, ma? I don't know my password. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to- You do it! Well, I, I don't know your password, ma. Why did I even bother having children? Okay, what do you think your password was? I don't know. The internet guy came over and told me to use something that I hated so no one would ever guess it. Uh, okay, uh, so what do you hate? Oh my- Where do I start? Loud chewing? Okay. People who think they don't need to wash their feet in the shower and they just let that nasty debris soap and water fall onto their feet and then they ask you for a foot massage later, Ernie. You can't make me do it, Irene! Uh, people yeah. who start a sentence with no offense and people that don't cover their mouth when they sneeze. I hope Satan's got a front row seat safe for those assholes downstairs, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Them along with people that drive the speed limit in the left lane. What are you doing? Move over, okay? I'm trying to go Mach 5 to church. Move. And for the people that are gluten-free and make me feel bad for eating all the bread at Olive Garden. I like bread, Tiffany. I like bread. Ma. And when there's someone at the grocery store standing right in front of the thing that you need so you pretend you don't need it and you wait for them to move but they're standing there for so long so you gotta do this awkward reach over thing and say sorry, sorry, and then they say sorry, now they feel bad. I hate that. I hate that so much. Great. Great. Are any of those the password? 
No. Perfect. Oh, I hate this. Your password was forgetting your password. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my God. Thanks for watching the kids for us, Ma. Bah. Oh, no problem. Honestly, it's nice to get out of the house. Ernie's hearing's getting so bad when he listens to his music, it makes my living room sound like a goddamn mosh pit. <laughs>
Okay. Go ahead. We're dating. Da, we're dating. You're cremating? That's worse than burying. No, Jonathan and I are dating. Oh, oh, well, well that's nice. Okay. I just never know what to expect with you two. I just, <laughs> but this, this is, that's great. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. Da, thank you. And burning and cremating a body would be worse way to get rid of body. <laughs> I have heard. Hi, Janet. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, let's hurry this up because I'm running late for a three o'clock range time with Katrina. Oh, you golf. <laughs> what the hell is Janet? Tia, yeah. so what did Riley do exactly? Right, so we had one of our playground duty moms report that Riley said to her, how long do I have to wait until you burst into your natural demon form? Mm hmm. Oh, and here's the duty mom now. Janet? Oh, it's Karen. Okay. No one you late. I know it's a bit of a trek crawling up all the way from the depths of hell. <laughs> this is making more sense now. Your daughter's just as trashy as her mother. Oh, that's rich coming from somebody that just yelled homophobic slows to me and Katrina the other day. Mm, too bad your girlfriend isn't here to back you up. Hmm. I think she is. What? <gasps> okay, I think we're fine here. <laughs> Yeah, Riley, let's go. Okay. Okay, next we have Chris Collins. Present. Wait, did you have an older sister? <sighs> yep. Oh, Jessica Collins, right? I could see. I could see. You guys look the same. How is she? How is she? She's great. Oh, I loved her. She was my favorite student. She was so polite. She tutored other kids. She volunteered. She stayed behind half the time to help me out. Oh, <laughs> yep. Ugh. Well, I got the same high expectations for you. I'm sure you'll do great, if not better. Oh, you're going to be disappointed. Uh, miss? Yes, Jessica. Oh, sorry. Ah, habit. <laughs> it's Chris. I'll probably just end up calling you Jessica for the rest of the year. <laughs> Please don't. I probably will. Don't. No, yeah, I'm 100% gonna do that. No, please, no. Yep, definitely gonna call you that. I, I can't, I can't. Okay, Jessica, that's enough, okay? Okay, okay next we have Alex Smith. Yep. You had another brother, didn't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit. Oh, hey, look who's back in the office. Oh, hey, uh, you just got back from Mexico. Oh my God, amaze. I took so many pictures, come look. Oh, no, I'm good. What? Oh, no, I'd rather get waterboarded with hot wax than pretend to be excited about you showing me the same selfie a hundred times of you double fisting a margarita. Welcome back. Yes, dude, yes, that's exactly oh my God, what I'm right? saying. Yes, no, totally, like, 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 like everything yes, you're saying yes, is what I'm thinking what I'm saying. right now, like, that's absolutely, like, where are you going? Hey, yeah, where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna go. No, stay! Yeah, you got somewhere to be or something? Uh, no, not really. My social media's just capped out, and you guys are really fucking annoying after a few drinks, so. Uh, well, are you coming to brunch tomorrow at least? No, no. I'll, I'll see you in 10 to 15 business days after I forget about how much I hated this whole experience, alright? Oh my god, Chris from high school? Oh, hey, Kendra from Social Studies with Mr. Weep, right? Yes, you were always so quirky and weird. How are you? How are things? What's new? Oh yeah, we're not gonna do this. Do what? Pretend to care about each other's lives. I haven't seen, talked to, or thought about you in seven years. I don't really give a shit what university you went to, how many kids you popped out of your hoo-ha, what kind of pyramid scheme you're a part of, how many divorces you've had. You pretty much post everything on Instagram anyway, so it's not really a mystery, so I'll pass. Okay, well... We should grab coffee sometime. Oh, no thank you. Excuse me? Listen, I- My favorite Simba. Hi. Today we have a very special guest and that is why you're coming in. I didn't even ask, you just knew. It's Call Me Kevin on the show today. And we're gonna do some five minute crafts. Oh, we don't have that. What the f is that? We're putting treats in it. Okay, so we've already run into our first problem. I don't have that pop and lock and thing. So I have, I have an ice tray that could maybe stick to a wall. I just gotta take the ice out and then I could put, oh shit, Kevin. Here, Kevin, come here. You got treats in there. Come on. Okay. And, oh, we're having so much fun. No, 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 we're having fun. It's gonna be okay. No, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be you five minute grabs. This isn't working. 
Okay, it's okay. We're gonna make, make you look beautiful. You're gonna be beautiful. I picked two shirts and I'm gonna let Kevin choose one. See? Oh, you like this one! I gotta glue a toothbrush to my finger. <laughs> I'm just gonna duct tape it to my finger. Perfect. <laughs> no, you wanna help? Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> He's eating my finger. Ow, ow, ow. No, Kevin, please, God, please. Hello? What's up? What are you eating? Mom made cookies. Oh, sick. This is the last one. Get out of my room. I'm not in your room. Yes, you are. I'm not even penetrating the threshold. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Look, penetrated, not penetrated, penetrated, not penetrated, penetrated, not penetrated. Can you please penetrated. stop saying penetrate? Penetrate. If I can see you, you're still in my room. Oh, pff, with that logic, if I see Henry Cavill through my TV, he's my husband. What? No, 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 what? No. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Damn. I'm still not in any room. Get out! Fine! Thank you. What the? Family bubble man wars. Let's go. Come on, shorty. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the bigger calves? Come on. Not dad. <laughs> calves. <laughs> Whoa. Spin move. Yeah. Yeah. Spinorama. <laughs> oh, her neck. Oh my gosh. He's like a bulldozer. <laughs> prove it! Yeah, prove it! Oh, oh shoot. She's, she's gotten angry. She's Don't poke the bear, Jacob. Oh, Jess, go, go, go! Take him out! My hair, I can't see. Jacob, she's in a weak moment. Hit him! Oh, no. <laughs> Do you remember when mom used to hit us with a wooden spoon? Oh yeah, good times. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? You wouldn't know. Yeah, God forbid she ever touched her little prince. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what are we talking about? Yeah, I never spanked you with a wooden spoon. <gasps> are you kidding me? Is she serious? I can't tell. You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. I never did that. <laughs> So let me get this straight. Both of us having these distinct memories just right over your head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I don't remember it, it didn't happen. Oh, right. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm probably going to go rob a 7 Eleven and then run over a family for trying to get away. You coming? Yeah, right behind you. Cool beans. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, don't worry. We'll just forget about it when we're done. Yeah, and then it never happened. Right. Oh, you guys are so traumatic. Look who raised us. Are you gonna hit me with a wooden spoon? No, I would never. If she did, she wouldn't remember. Riley, I am ready for my date night. How do I look? Whoa, you look beautiful. Oh, pfft. stop. No, like, I don't even recognize you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you usually look so tired and dull. What? And you don't smell like spicy juice or sadness. I usually smell like s sadness has a smell. And your skin is glowing. Uh, is it not always glowing? <laughs> Let's just say sometimes when you're sweeping, I check your pulse to make sure you're not dead. So I'm going to take that as a no. Is that your Halloween costume? Halloween? No, I'm going to... What do you think I'm trying to be for Halloween? A catfish. Okay. I'm here. Oh, Riley, who's your pretty friend? Who are you talking? It's me! Oh, wow! I did not even realize you could look like that. Right? Okay, that's it. I'm not going. Riley, can you get that? Yeah. Hey-o, Skelweeder Boone. Hey there, kiddo. Your mom around? Maybe. Uh, 
Can, can I see her? Mom! Much obliged. You look like someone on TV. <laughs> well, I get that a lot. Usually Matthew McConaughey from Dallas Buyers Club. No. Well, or Tom Selleck. No. More like every main suspect on Dateline. Hmm. <laughs> you find a little maggot, aren't you? My Nona says not to trust anybody with a mustache. Well, your Nona is misinformed. Trust me. I don't. Because you have a mustache. Sorry, sorry. Boom? Did Riley do something bad at day camp? No. No. She's a treat. I merely came here to inquire about taking you out onto the town. Are you asking me out? That I am. I'm seeing someone, so. Oh, well, can you see someone else, too? <laughs> you can see the door slam in your face, all right? Playing hard again. I like that. <sighs> so weird. It's the mustache. Can't trust them. Nope. Hello everybody and welcome back to class and since it's October 1st I thought we could go around and say what our favorite Halloween activities are. Halloween? Oh, what is this? We do not celebrate. Oh, okay. Well, maybe the other kids can tell you. Riley? No day. You go up to people's houses at night and demand candy and hope it's not booby trapped. Okay, that's not the, that's not the best description. But the only catch is they'll only give you candy if you dressed up real nice for them in a costume. Ah. Uh. Costumes. Like what? A princess. A pirate. A police officer. A horror flick psychopath. A controversial political figure. For the most part, it's just adult professions or anything that makes you seem like an adult. Okay, I don't... Oh, and the best part is, is you can throw toilet paper and eggs at people's houses once you obtain the candy. No. Okay, let me get this straight. So you dress up to appear older than you are in most cases, and then trespass on people's property, and then bang on their door and demand free candy, gambling on the fact that it could be laced with something or have razor blades in it, and in return, you vandalize their property with things you can find in the bathroom or the fridge. And you are trying to terrorize and take advantage of as many homes as you can this night, da? Yeah, that about sums it up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. This is amazing. This is new favorite holiday. That sign us up. Absolutely. Oh god. <gasps> Look at this. Is this real wood? Look at the craftsmanship of that. That's. Is this a row? They think I'm the queen of England. Oh my god. They have coffee in the room. What is that? And snap. What is this? There's free shampoo. It's like they knew I forgot. There's a couch in the in. Side the room. Why? For who? God. I'm gonna put my stuff in there. Oh, a robe that hundreds of other people have worn. <clears throat> what is that? Is that, bl is that blood? Oh, great. A coffee maker I don't know how to use and won't learn how. How many people have had sex on that couch? How many people have died on that couch? And a blanket from home. And I'm gonna sleep standing up. Okay, honey, we're- I already knew. Are you my Uber? Yeah, open. Great. I'm Amanda. Katrina. No, Amanda. My name is Katrina. Oh, yeah, right, right. My nan's name's Katrina. Great. Yeah, she's dead. Sorry to hear that. She got hit that. by a bus. Okay. And then a car. That's but it's funny because what took it out was a kid on a bicycle behind the bus in the car. Like a speed bump. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah, she was chasing down one of the chickens that escaped from the pen. Yeah, so we tend to stay away from chicken crossing the road jokes at family reunions. Right. You got a funny accent. Where are you from? I am from Russia. Oh, you guys got that leader. Poutine, isn't it? No, that is not how you say- Oh, I love poutine. Not your poutine, but poutine. Now I'm hungry. Little cheese, gravy and chips. 
You would not make it in Russia. What would I make in Russia? Can we go? I am late to see my girlfriend. Oh, you got a girlfriend. I had a boyfriend. He died. Yeah, he's burning up in hell with me, nan. Because get this, got him shaking my nan the day before she died. You know what? I don't want to yeah, know. Yeah, shame. Shame. Ironically, he died by getting run over too. It was my fault. I let the chicken out. Wow. I knew there was cars on the road and I knew she'd chase that chicken because she loved that chicken more than me. Then I told my boyfriend to go check if she was alive. And I did that knowing there was a truck barreling down the road. Road pizza. Oh my God. You know, it feels good to get it off my chest. We should go get Chick-fil-A. You know, for some reason I've lost my appetite, so I'm gonna go. Oh, what? No. Oh, no. Good, I did not want to drive anyway. Okay, see you later, Mom. Oh, but... Wow. What? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Mm. I just have this weird inkling that it's something, so... No, it's just... That's what you're gonna wear, hey? Yeah. Is there a problem? Mm, you don't think you're giving the wrong message? <sighs> what do you mean? Like the wrong message. Like early comers get free admission, you know? Oh my God. Or like why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? I'm a cow now. No, I'm just saying you're not leaving a whole lot to the imagination. I'm going to the club, mom. I'm not going to Sunday church brunch with grandma and grandpa. Well, and thank goodness because they'd be meeting Jesus a lot earlier than they should be if they saw you in that. Okay, you know what? What was that? I was saying that- No, I couldn't hear you over your makeup. It's loud. I can hear it all the way from over here. I'm gonna go. Okay, well make good choices. I won't. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, your playdate's here, Hunter. Yay! Hey, Hunter, come on in. Uh, come on, Hunter, let's go. Karen. Janet. I hate that woman with every goddamn fiber in my body. But my therapist told me I need to start working on being nicer to people that I don't like. So I'm working on it. Honestly, I'm surprised you're up before noon and not hungover. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm actually up pretty early most days and, and it's a Tuesday, so. I think she bought it. Also, why are the lights so goddamn bright? Can I get some sunglasses and an Advil in here? Wow, look at you turning a new leaf. <laughs> Well, I'll be back at five to pick up Hunter because I'm sure you have a happy hour to go to or something. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. But I do have a charity event to go to later, actually. Really? Yeah. Hey, Mom, are we still going to Applebee's for happy hour at five? Can Hunter come? Uh, it's, it's actually a new charity, Saving the Bees charity, where you, where you dunk for apples and, and you get money by dunking for the ap ap apples and you give them to the bees to save them. Uh-huh. You know what, you fucking passive aggressive You come here to my house, you talk to me like I'm a piece of shit, okay? You're the piece of shit. I think I possibly might need a couple more therapy sessions. Hey there, Mom. What are you doing up? It's like 3 a.m. Um, the only excuse I'll allow for you waking me up at 3 a.m. is the fact that it's the witching hour and you're either already possessed or the demons figured out that you're already one of them. It's 3 p.m. Oh, what? Oh, I don't even remember going to bed last night. Are you experiencing an amnesia gap? What? No, how do you know what that is? That's what Detective Benson on Law & Order said the murderer experienced before she killed her husband. Why are you watching Law & Order? You woke me up last night and told me to watch it with you. Serious? I don't remember any of that. I gotta lay off the Merlot. That's also what the murderer said on the stand. Okay, we're not gonna repeat anything that happened last night or today to anyone, okay? Fresh start. That's also what the murderer said to her accomplice on the security tapes. Okay, no more law and order for you. Oh, I'm so glad I shepherd one for Riley's art gallery field trip. They even given away food like they do at the Costco. I'll be right back. All right, kids, we are in the German artist Gunther's gallery today. It's just Gunther, no last name? And last names are overrated. Beyonce, Cher, Queen. And one name is superior. Queen is a band! Why is this tiny human asking stupid questions? That wasn't the question. Come, come, I'll show you my work. Okay, go, 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 go. First up is this one. It is called Cage Bananas. Wow, so there's a... Probably a deeper meaning behind this. 
Da, most likely an analogy for Mother Nature feeling trapped. Right, Gunther? Hmm? No, it's just bananas I put in a cage. You know, I have been compared to other artists. Beethoven, Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci. And to that I say, who? Moving on! Miss Amy, is Gunther a man or a woman? Oh, Riley, it's not polite. And man, woman, extraterrestrial, illuminescent, godlike being, either is fine. Good day. I don't like labels. Would you put the label on pill bottle? No, I just simply am. Thanks for watching, Riley Ma. No problem, but are you really going out dressed like a GTA stripper? How do you know what GTA is? Your father's therapist told him to play it to let out some pent up aggression. <laughs> Eat my bullets, motherfucker! Yeah. But don't worry, you don't have anything to worry about. You don't have a dateline face. A dateline face? Yeah, you know the girls that always end up on dateline. The smile always lights up a room. And they're always so nice and could stop traffic with their good looks. So you're saying I'm ugly? I'm saying the only traffic that you're gonna stop is divorced men in their 50s driving by looking for a good time. Thanks, Ma. Goodbye. Hello, my little Ravi. How are you? Mom won't let me watch Law & Order anymore. Oh, well, that's understandable. Yeah, because that show is all fiction. You need to be watching true crime like Dateline. Will we, okay? Yeah, you gotta learn how to not trust anybody early because you... You got a Dateline face. Thanks for coming to talk to us, Chad. Though we appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. But before you say anything, I know Bex is a good babysitter and all, but I need this part-time job because Starbucks just laid me off because I was giving out free drinks to the Chicas, and I may or may not have possibly passed out on the Starbucks counter from a sugar high eating my own concoction of cake pop, sugar cookie, milk, and frappuccino with extra caramel drizzle. That is not why you are here. And I may have worked under the influence of the devil's lettuce on one occasion. Okay. Okay, 17 occasions. But that doesn't mean I'm not a good babysitter. And Chad, this is not about your babysitting capabilities. Okay, but I'm a little concerned now. I have some questions. It is fine. We wanted to tell you we are together. Like? Yeah. Da. Like you're gonna get rid of me together? No. Listen, I know what Katrina keeps in the third drawer of her dresser, okay? I can't go out like that, man. Ch what? You were in my dresser? You specifically said I couldn't go in that drawer. Don't worry about it. Chad, we're saying we're seeing each other. What? Oh. Okay, cool. About time. I am honored I'm the first one that you told. You are actually the last to know. What? After all I've done for you? I'm your kid's babysitter. It's pending now. <laughs> can't believe this, man. Oh, we know you can't keep a secret, Chad. We know you would have told everybody before we had a chance to. Wow. So that's what you think of me. What's that? Right after you told me I blasted the group chat. See? That. And I may have tweeted it. Oh, bullshit. Oh, okay. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're just looking at pictures. Tanya had her baby. Yeah, I went through 24 hours of labor, but she is beautiful. Come look at pictures. Mm, pass. What? Oh, no, I'm happy for you. I just don't give a shit about seeing pictures of your baby. Uh, plus, no fresh out the vagine baby is beautiful. Okay, they all look like Yoda and Betty White had a weird love child. Hey, anybody want to see new pictures of my puppy? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Woo, yeah, party! <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? I don't know anybody here. You said I'd know people. I know, but I can introduce you around. Nope. Perfect, and for an extra five dollars, would you like to donate to the Homeless Orphans with No Limbs or Hope Foundation? No. Hmm. Oh, you have two for one chocolate bars for five bucks. Throw those in too. For the children. I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. What is it? Who is it? Who are you? My god, you've gotten fat. Come in, come, come! With a smile and a song. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Are you a hobo? <laughs> Mr. Moody, we never use transfiguration on students. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. Oh, Vader, get
Once I make my move, you're free to check the king. No. Ron, no! What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't! There must be another way! Do you want to stop Snake from getting that stone or not? Harry, it's you that has to go on. I know it. Not me. Not Hermione. You. Okay. This food is raw! Raw! Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know that you are in my hair? Lolly, 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 eh, 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 Thank you. Here's your guys' food. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh, damn. What? Oh, I asked for no cilantro, but there's cilantro. Oh, I'll just call the waitress back over. We'll send it back. No! Why? It's fine. It's... I... It's fine. What do you mean? You hate cilantro. It's no big deal. For the love of God, please stop. It's no big deal. Yes, it is, okay? You call the waitress over, okay? She comes over. I tell her she screwed up my meal. Now she's embarrassed. She hates us, okay? She goes back to the kitchen. She tells Jimmy, the line cook, who screwed up my meal, to recook my meal, okay? He was on strike two with his manager, and now he's fired, okay? So he goes home to his pregnant wife and his toddler, Timmy, right? And he has to tell them that he's fired now, okay? He was also two years sobriety, and now he's back to the drink. This is getting kind of dark. Fast forward two months, his wife's had the baby, but Jimmy's drunk all the time, so she leaves him. Listen. And now, Timmy the toddler grows up without a dad. He's an adult now, and he has nothing but resentment for his father. But why does he have that resentment, Kendra? Because of cilantro Karen at the restaurant 20 years previous where his dad got fired, okay? So now he grows up, and now his sole purpose in life is to find cilantro Karen, aka me, and kill me. Are you done? Yes, I am done, and I'm gonna eat this cilantro-filled meal so Timmy can grow up with a dad, okay? How's everything tasting? So good. Great. You need therapy. Yeah, I know. Okay, what's something that's gross that tastes delicious? Oh, Say it on God. one, two, three. Hot dogs. Cottage cheese. Sam's mom. What? Oh, cottage cheese. See, it tastes good, but I'm a texture person, so I just can't. Can we back up for a sec? Did you just say my mom? True, but if you put it on toast with tomatoes and avo like Sam's mom does, don't even notice. That's a game changer. Good one, Sam. What? And hot dogs are delicious. I don't give a flying fudge knuckle what anybody says. Right? And everybody's always like, do you know what those are made out of? And I'm like, I don't care. Put it in my mouth hole. Enough about the hot dogs. Can we talk about what just happened yeah. here? I don't care if it was made out of Sam's mom's luscious hair. I would still eat it. Straight up. Ugh, got such a craving now. Same. Deborah, man. <laughs> Did you get with my mom? Whoa, bro. You sound insane right now, dude. Wild. But you said Sam's mom. I didn't say that. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Did you? For real? Hey, 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 what was that? Hmm? Are you f***ing with me right now? Dude, yes, calm down. Your mom, on the other hand. What are you doing? I'm gonna stick this in the plug. And what is the purpose of this? I figure this is the best way to become a superhero. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's the best idea. I don't care. You're gonna get electrocuted. You're not the boss of me. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. <laughs> What is all the locomotion going on in here? Oh, Nikola Tesla over here thought it'd be a good idea to put a fork in a socket. Oh. How could you let this happen? This is your fault. What? She told me to. Uh, no. She, no. She, she, to, she told me it would give me superpowers. Oh, you little bitch. Well, you are grounded, young lady. Oh, but, no, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. This is me walking away. Okay, done. Try it again. Don't. Hey, you're my Uber? Yeah, I'm the Eval Ben. Sick. <sighs> Way added. Uh, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Are you a valet at a Best Western? What? No. A two star restaurant DJ. <sighs> Couple years ago, but no. You seriously don't know what I'm doing? 
Oh, oh, I know you work at Subway. No. Oh, now I'm craving a tuna melt. I'm going golfing. Oh, never would have guessed that. What did you think this giant bag of clubs was for? I figured someone owed you money. What does that even mean? Yeah, I carry around a bat for the same reason. Whoa, whoa, okay, relax, lady. I never tell a woman to relax, especially when she's wielding a bat. Okay, jeez, take my money, okay? I'm leaving. I'll get another ride. But... Gotta take this out more often. <sighs> Can you hold the elevator? Damn it. Close, 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 close. I'm coming. Come on, close, you piece of shit. Woo, made it. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's no problem. Great, alone in the elevator with a man, and my phone's dead so I can't even look at it. Oh my god, did he just check me out? I mean, he's kind of cute, I guess. Oh my god, what if we got stuck in the elevator and we talked for hours and we fell in love? <laughs> oh wait, what if this is like a Ted Bunny situation and he's super cute and charming at the start, but then takes me back to my hotel room and has his way with me and then takes my head as a souvenir? Oh my god, he's not checking me out, he's sizing up his next victim. I have to fart so bad. Okay, be cool, be cool, be cool. Okay, let's just look at our self-defense save TikToks on our phone, okay? F it's dead. Ooh, hold it in, buddy. What the f*** was that face? Oh, I'm done for. Of course this would happen to me. I can't just have a nice meet and cute. I gotta get stuck in the elevator with a guy that's gonna eat me out Jeffrey Dahmer style. Maybe if I just let it out in little increments. Oh, and I had half a cake left in the fridge. This is the worst day ever. Nope, almost shit myself. Oh, thank God, it's almost at my floor. Okay, get ready. Just a couple more floors, big boy. Oh shit. Close, 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 close. Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds? No, definitely Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Christina Lee Hallowell Collins. Oh, that's full name. You're fed. What did you do? I, I don't know. Christina. Shit. <gasps> eavesdrop? Eavesdrop. Did you skip class yesterday? Uh oh damn, that's right, she did. Oh shit. Got two options here. She can deny, 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 or plead guilty and cry. Yeah. Yeah, as long as she doesn't. Are you dumb? I would never do that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's like rule number one in mom's courthouse. If you attack, you get whacked. What a dumb ass. Wait, wait, wait. I don't hear the wax. Jessica Leanna Hallowell Collins, get down here. Is she calling a witness? She's calling a witness. Oh, no, man. I already did time for this dunce last month for not snitching on her. Now you got this, man. Get it together. <laughs> I can't go back there, man. I won't be able to DM Jason on MSN. Jessica! <laughs> you can have my Tamagotchi. Really? Sick. Are we there yet? Ah. Oh, we're going to be late. How are you going to be late going to the park? We have business to attend to. Oh, what business? Who gets to go down the slide first? Or who gets pushed off the slide first? What? Nothing. Okay, can you guys just play the quiet game or something? Oh, that is best game. What are you doing? Why are you guys putting socks in your mouth? That is quiet game. You put sock in mouth, whoever spits out last wins five dollars. I have gone days with sweet, sweet silence, and it only cost me five dollars. I, I don't know if that's morally okay, Katrina. It's voluntary. I don't make them do it. I just bribe them. Okay, let's play something else. Okay, I spy! Sure. How can we play I spy if we do not have paintball guns? What kind of I spy you playing with paint? You know what? I don't want to know. You good? What? Oh, no, I was just thinking how easy it would be to cut the tip of my nose off. <laughs> oh my god, why? I don't know, intrusive thought. Oh, okay. Does that happen a lot? Yeah, with pretty much everything and anything. Really? Everything? Okay, what about that sink? Put your hand in the garburetor and flip the switch. Okay, uh, what about the water bottle? Oh, that's easy. While you're drinking it, I just punch it into your mouth. Okay, uh, what about the countertop? Oh, come on. You walk, you trip, you bust all your teeth out on the corner of the counter. The cup. <sighs> Drop it on my toe, obviously. Oh my god. Okay, here's a hard one. A pillow. Oh, please. Two words. Suffocation device. Wow. Okay. So you have these thoughts like every day? Yeah. And you want to do them? No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. But you think about wanting to do them and it happening. Exactly. Are you okay? No. No. Nice place. Yeah, totally. Oh my god. What? 
It's that guy from the other night that I told you about. The one that, yeah. And then he, yep, that's the guy. Okay. Stop, sit down, sit down. It's fine, it's, it's fine. Oh, oh, okay, so if what he did is fine, then I guess second degree murder is fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna, what are you gonna do? Kill him with a spoon? I can try. Shut up, sit down, seriously. Let's just pretend he doesn't exist. Fine, great. And we could do that by making him simply not exist. Chris. I'm just gonna talk to him. No. I'm just gonna talk to him. No, you're I'm just not. gonna talk to him. Chris, seriously. I'm just gonna unalive him. Wait, what? What's up, you waste of oxygen? Mm -hmm. Christina? Yeah, what's up, buddy? I'm just, I'm just so tired, and I'm just so big, and I'm just trying to put clothes on, and I'm like out of breath, mm. and I just can't. And then I I have restless leg syndrome, so then I can't even sleep at night, so then I get frustrated about sleeping. And what are you doing? Trying! I don't know. Hey, you wanted to see me? Ah, yes, please, sit. What's wrong with you? I'm afraid I'm not privy to what you're talking about. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what, exactly? Like you consume tea and crumpets on gold plates served by people that cannot speak unless spoken to. No! <laughs> well, that's just silly. Nonsense, really. Nonsense? You sound insane! Quite the contrary. So do you think that you sound any different? Like you're speaking in a completely different accent? You don't think that? I believe this is what I am meant to sound like. And if you do not, I would be happy to let Robert escort you out that door. Have you been watching The Crown? It is a possibility, yes. So good, right? It's so good. Hey guys! Hey! <laughs> I got a new outfit and I just, does it look okay? I'm not sure, like, I think it's cute though, right? Couldn't you decide on just one color? Girl, that face with that suit. Okay, um, you look Great, Billy Blue Dean. <laughs> okay, okay, um... Oh yeah, is this what you wear to slop the hogs with? <laughs> I'm gonna change. <laughs> Do you like your alone time? Do you secretly love when people cancel plans on you? Is your ideal night watching a movie alone with popcorn or candy and maybe under the influence if you're of age, of course? Do you like to wear clothes that embrace your body better than any lover ever could? Do you like Nickelback? Did you cry even just a little bit when you watched Toy Story 3? Are you not homophobic? Do you think cannibalism is pretty bad? Do you think that people that eat pineapple on pizza deserve a VIP access ticket to Satan's Cellar? If you said yes to any of these, I got the thing for you. And it's my new Auto by Chris clothing line introvert social club drop. And it's only available for a limited time. So go to autobychris.com to get yours. Embrace who you are and just make sure other people know you don't want to f talk to them. So join the club. And if you said no to all of these, I don't trust you. And I don't want your business. And you're probably a criminal. So. All right, we're here. Who's ready to hike? Oh man, these trees are just gorgeous. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Parkour! <laughs> we should do this more often. Why don't we do this more often? I, I, I don't Why know. Why don't we do this more often? Oh, I just feel so connected out here, you know? Do you feel connected? Yeah. I feel connected. How you doing? I'm good. I can go for like, like four more hours. Easy. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. She's gonna take a quick water break. Just a quick water break. Just another... a quick water break. Oh, oh, What's oh, wrong? Oh, oh, I tore my ACL. Right now? In middle school. It's just acting up. God damn it. I think we missed a turn. No, we didn't miss a turn. I know exactly where we're going, okay? You don't need to question me. I've walked this a million times. Didn't we already pass this tree? F oh, God. I think we're lost. Yeah, that's what I just okay. said. Shh. Do you hear that? What? Is that a bear? What if we do if there's a bear? I I'll Google it. I'll Google it. There's no service! Good job getting us lost. You know what? If that is a bear, all I have to do is outrun your swollen feet, okay? I'm pregnant. Yeah, and whose fault is that? Riley, can you get off the iPad and help me clean up? After I'm done! Excuse me? After!
I'm done. Did you think that was a recommendation? No, do you think I ever spoke to your Nona that way? You did, literally all the time. Ma, I'm trying to teach you how to not talk back. But what, by lying? For heaven's sake, your favorite word to use as a kid was fuck. Ma! Fuck. Mm-hmm. No! Oh, God, it was always fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, fine, fine, fine. But how about you tell her how you punished me after I did that, okay? Tell her. Tell her how you beat me into next Tuesday every time I did. I would never. What do you mean you never did? You did it every time. I do not recall that. Are you serious right now? I think you hit your head too many times as a kid. You're just making stuff up now. You were the one that did it. I okay, you need to calm down. Yeah, Mom, just chill the f*** out. It's on you. I don't. Hey, uh, could you pass me a banana? Hey, my banana. Why do you have to do that? My banana. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. Be like what? We're all grown up now. We can just talk to each other and be mature about it. We're, we're be grown ups about it. You know, we could we could stop with all the childish antics and just get along and not just waste time doing stuff that we did when we were kids. We could we could actually have a relationship now. You could you could hand me that banana with without saying anything in retaliation. Just here is the banana. You know. Okay. Okay. Here is your banana. Thank you. Season this nice? Season this nice. Okay. I didn't wash my hands after I peed, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> you look like you belong in a one-hit wonder Y2K boy band, by the way. At least I don't look like you. And he said, yeah. Douche nozzle. Hey, loser, it's been a while. Hey, you look like shit. And you smell like shit. Ah. <laughs> Mom's losing it lately, eh? Oh, yeah, she's off a rocker. <gasps> it's f***ing crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm back! Oh my god, I missed you! I missed you too! You look so pretty! Come here! No, you do! Come here, I missed you! Gross. I just threw up in my mouth. Okay, everybody's been using this filter, and I need to see what I look like <laughs> when I'm old. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, I, I look like my Grammy! Wait, why am I crying? <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I was just like, excuse me? Oh my goodness. What? You totally looked and sounded like mom when you told that story. Oh, no, I did not. You're doing it again? Oh, goodness gracious. You... <laughs> okay, what do you think of this new little sculpture I got? It's kind of funky. <gasps> <gasps> what do you think about that one? It's pretty nifty. Oh, oh my God. Hey, don't you go using the Lord's name in vain. <gasps> Hokey Dinah. Okay, if we push is doing it, so I might as well. What are my red flags? We. No, they're not. They're cute. Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that bad? I'm a busy person. Fuck you. This is not a coincidence. It's not the algorithm, okay? If you're coming across this, you need to hear it. This is divine energy, okay? Spirits, tell me what they need to hear. Oh, half the deck, K. Okay. Ten of spades. Ten of spades. This means he is thinking about you, okay? He's thinking about you. He does not talk to you, but he's thinking about you next. His name might be Jack, might start with a J, maybe an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, O, Z, but could be it. Ace, he is the one. He's the one you've been waiting for, and you need to wait four years. Just go wait four years, love, and like the video, and also contact me uh, privately to get a private reading. And, oh, 11, 11 on the clock. I don't know what that means. I wish I cared about me more. I wish I thought about you less. You're always walking out the door I'm always faced with my regrets Is it too much to be adored? I always take what I can get I wish you cared about me more I wish that I could 
just forget. This is how I believe Australian conversations go. Oi, where's Dad? Oh, he's on Chad's dick. He's on his dick? Yeah, mate, why? What about Mum? What about Mum? Well, where is she? Well, Dad's on somebody else's dick. What do you mean, mate? Mum's out on Chad's dick too. What do you mean? Yeah, mate, I was thinking about hopping on Chad's dick too. Oh, fuck me, I need a beer. I figured out something that I can't do. <laughs> oh, I want to hear that. What you want to do. <laughs> One okay. thing you can't do in the world. Check this out. So, right hand, <laughs> like, you know how, like, people are like, Kalabunga. You can do it real fast. My left hand don't, does not go that fast. My left hand How is. Did you figure that out? My left hand's way slower. Can you do it with your left hand? I don't know. Okay. Do you? <laughs> like yeah. you just, it just can't go fast. It just know. doesn't go Looks like fast. You had a stroke. I think like, like the side of your brain just like collapsed. Yo. <sighs> I just want to know how you figured that out. Yeah. When you're just Are like you one, testing one day, he's just like, and then goes like. <sighs> so much slower. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh man. What the heck? Hey guys, so I'm just having like a little small little miniature mental breakdown moment and I just have the overwhelming feeling to change my entire appearance. Starting with my hair, but I really like it. I've had it for a few months and I feel like if I change it, I'll regret it. But I need you to either convince me to keep it or convince me to change it. And if I do change it, to change it to what? Help. Oh no, are they gonna take the drugs to hide it from the cops? I don't know. What are drugs? They turn your brain into mush. But they make trees look really cool. Really? No, stop. Oh my god, are they gonna put the drugs up their ass? I don't know. What's an ass? It's a donkey, Riley. They're gonna put drugs in a donkey? No, it's another word for your butt. What is? Ass. Can you not? So a donkey is a butt? No, ass means donkey and butt, and butt means ass. But exactly. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Can't even enjoy a movie. <laughs> What's that per donkey? Close enough. Yeah, so this is the house. It's great. Then oh this is Kevin. Oh. Yes, my name is Kevin. I'm four years old and I'm a super good boy that likes getting pats on the head. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What what was that? What what just happened? Oh, Kevin's just, just talking to you. <laughs> what? No, because I'm a super good boy, and I really like talking and chasing balls around the house, among other things. <laughs> what? Stop doing that! This is just Kevin's voice. Dogs don't talk! Kevin does. No, he doesn't! He's a dog! You know, oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, I'm moving on. What the third problem? I don't know. Hey, I like you. Oh, hello, I, I like you too. We should hang out. I would like that very much. Let's hang out. You're so great. You are also so great. We should we should make this a thing. A what? A thing. Like, like I would be with you and you would be with me and we would just, just see each other, you know? Because we like each other and we think we each other are great. I hear what you're saying. And no. Oh, do you, you don't like me anymore? No, I do a lot and I depend on you a lot. And you're a great person and I really like hanging out with you. Okay, but you, you don't you don't want to be with me. No, but I want to hang out still, you know. So you want to be with me, but you don't want to be with me. Yeah, like we're not exclusive, but like you know. No. I got a new little guitar, and I'm gonna test it out. But this is also very therapeutic for me. I highly recommend you try this, even if it sounds like shit, which mine will. Ready? What's in your head? Grab some coffee, maybe go to the mall. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said. What? Uh, are, are you busy or something? Yeah, kinda. I have a project I'm working on right now. Oh, well you can do that later. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but I'm broke as shit right now, so. No big deal, I'll pay for you, so. Really? Yeah, whatever. Thank you, man, that's really cool of you. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll just finish this up and then we'll go and... You don't have any friends. <laughs> 
Shut the f*** up. Alright, go by yourself then. I don't care. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. Let's go. Only if you buy me a new outfit. Fine. Hi guys, so I know most of you know that I've been struggling with recovery and mental health a lot lately. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I just do for me that really help ground me and make me feel good about myself. So come with me to see what I do before I start work. First, I make my third cup of coffee of the day. Don't worry, this one was decaffeinated. I just lied. Then I look in the mirror and do my morning affirmations. You are not a piece of shit. This was supposed to be a joke, but that actually kind of felt good. I highly recommend. I wanted to make and eat one of my fear foods, if you will, on my own. But then I went to my pantry and realized I didn't have any syrup, which I think is punishable by death in Canada. So I ordered IHOP instead. And this is something I actually loathe doing, but I'm going to make my bed. I heard somewhere, like, if you have a clean room, you have a clean mind or some bullshit like that. And not going to lie, it, it actually kind of works. It makes me feel more at peace. Who's your daddy? Cue two camera angle transition moment. Slay. And it's still early, so I decided to paint a little and put my coffee down and forget about it and need to microwave it later. Painting is something that's always been really therapeutic to me, and I can kind of just turn my brain off, which is really nice. And I listen to, like, really nice, calm music while I do it, too. Now it's time to feed the chickens! I got watermelon that's kind of going bad in my fridge, so I'm gonna go feed the ladies. Anything to do with animals, whether it's Kevin or my chickens or whatever, just always makes me feel better like no matter what and i love just being outside in general but caring for these little ladies is a bonus for sure i forgot the watermelon was bad but anyway i hope you enjoyed my little self-care video i know it's not my usual content but i challenge you to do a little something for yourself today too okay bye beautiful oh honey look it's a fin dive that's fun i've never heard of that before i didn't realize that that was here we need sunscreen. We need sunscreen. We need to reapply. It's only, it's been 30 minutes. Oh, what is that one? Is that Bavuk? Bavuk. 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 I don't, Bavuk deer. I, I don't know. If you can't pronounce it, you can't afford it. Hey, hey. Sunscreen time. Sunscreen time. Oh, honey, it's gutchy. Oh, that's interesting. It kind of sounds like a, another word for a vagina. Alan, Siaga, what the hell is that, sweetie? I think it's a type of fitness class. Oh, I ain't signing up for that boy shit. Oh, honey, I got a lot of swass building up. I got a blot. Oh, look, it's a Prada. I've never seen that before in real life. That's that's nice. So when do you think this thing starts, huh? I don't know, but do you think I need to reapply? Oh, Versace. That sounds like a type of pasta. Is that a type of pasta? Let's take a photo. My hat's away. <laughs> okay, I need to squash this debate I'm having with somebody. What do you put on first when you get dressed? A shirt or shorts? Ooh, shirt, for sure. Mm, definitely shorts. Yeah, see, I'm either or, but it's usually a shirt. Yeah, fair. Socks. What? Socks, I put my socks on first. What? That's insane. You're saying when you get out of the shower, the first thing you put on is socks? Yeah. That's ridiculous. If anything, it's the least ridiculous. What are you talking about? You gotta keep the outer extremities warm. On a cold day, socks, then gloves, then hat. What? The only way that order of getting dressed makes sense is if you're a f***ing starfish. Starfishes don't wear clothes. Oh yeah, what about Patrick from Spongebob? Oh yeah, he's the smart one, right? No, Patrick's the dumb one. Oh right, the dumb one. And what clothes does he put on first? Shorts. Exactly. Okay, so your friends are Stefan and Steven? Yeah. So my gay friends Steven and Stefan are in town, and I figured I'd introduce them to Chad because I need a little free entertainment because watching Chad interact with two gay men is single-handedly the funniest thing I've ever witnessed. Chad, this is Steven. Hold on. Absolute pleasure, darling. And his boyfriend, Stefan? Oh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Howdy. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Super cool. Ah, oh, so you two... You two are together. Yes. Yep. And that's awesome. That's aw congratulations. That's stellar. Thank I'm you. Super nice stoked for you. I'm here for it, and I'm queer for it. Is is that? You know when you're watching a toddler skate for the first time and he just keeps falling over, and you should probably help him, but it's kind of funny just to watch him fall. Jazzy toddler. And well, I think it's great that you're riding that gay train, guys, because I'm in that caboose. You know, just pumping my fist in I'm full support of your gay train ride. All right, then. Not that I want to ride your train or in your train. Um, I don't have a ticket. <laughs> I'm just shoveling coal in the back into the engines of your love. You know, I just want you to know that. So. <laughs> I think Chad might be a little gay. Definitely gay. What are you looking at? You think if I threw this cup hard enough, I could hit that guy in the head? No, why would you do that? I'm not going to, I was just asking. 
That's weird. Why are you staring at your fork? I feel like this pickle is probably the same texture as my eye. I could just take this fork and, you know, pick it out. Like a grape. Oh my god! Are you okay? What? Oh, I just imagined slipping on this towel and caving my head in with the shower handle. Why? Sit. There. What are you doing? Now I won't. I think there's an extremely high chance that would never happen. But there's always a chance. Okay. Are you afraid of death? Mm, kind of. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Because you're not religious. No. You didn't grow up religious. Mm, mm But I know you respect religion. Mm -hmm. Like, you're interested in it. Yeah. Same, same here. Yeah. I, th I think it's very interesting. Yeah, I love it. I think it's cool. I think it gives a good perspective on life. It's a wealth of knowledge. It is. Yeah. It'd be cool to know somebody's just like... Stromboli's up there pulling the strings. Mm-hmm. I'm a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not, if you, all the questions all right. in the comments. <laughs> if free will's real, punch me right now in the face. Proof. I met someone. Oh my gosh! No way. What's he like? He plays guitar. Oh, that's great. And he sings. Oh, amazing. So, what does he do for work? Nothing currently. Oh, uh, does he have any family or anything? Or I don't know. He's just so mysterious, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, where does he live? He's kind of just like super free and lives on the road. Yeah. Okay, so he's homeless. He always says that I feel like home to him. Right. Is he giving you mortgage payments? Or? He wrote a song about me. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> Not really. Okay. Cassandra. That's me. I want to open you up like a peanut butter cup. Even though you can't technically open up a peanut butter cup, you could cut the top off and lick it all up. This is a metaphor for having intercourse with a woman. And definitely not a peanut butter cup. <sighs> Can you believe he made that up on the spot? Yeah. Hey, there's some pizza downstairs. What? What is it? Is it the pants? Is it the... I know it's bulging a little bit here, but is it... Is it do you like the pattern? I just got them. You don't... Is it the shirt? Is it... I tied it in the back. I thought that was okay. Is it... It's too Y2K, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? And these, these jeans aren't doing my ass any favors. I know. I know. My ass isn't that flat, is it? No. You think it is? I don't know, man. I don't know. I should I, should I change? Should I change? This is dumb. This is a dumb outfit. I'm, it's it's dumb. It's dumb. I should should I change? Should I change? Okay. Yeah. I'll change. Sorry, I'm late to the potty. Mm -hmm. Oh, no worries. Come on in. Who is that woman? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Where is everybody? Mom. Oh, hey. Mom! Where is she? Mom! What? Riley, have you seen your mom yet? No! Where is she? should be here by now. Maybe let's ask this extremely attractive woman. Oh, miss, do you know the location of our other mother? Uh, are you guys serious right now? Mom? <laughs> Riley, that is not your mother. <coughs> Holy shit! What do you mean? I am not going to lie, I did not recognize you. Yeah, you look stunning! I did not realize she had this much potential. Duh, it's like she leveled up to an upgraded skin. Duh, reconfirming my suspicions we are living in the simulation. Hey, beautiful, I haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> Ew, Chad! Janet! Holy, did you change your... everything? You all suck. I'm gonna go talk to your mother. Mothra or Godzilla? Mm, Godzilla. So. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck Mothra. King Kong? I'm anti-Mothra. Oh, Godzilla all day. I love Godzilla, dude. But you love monkeys. Godzilla's got, he's powered by nuclear energy. That's true. That's he goes awesome. Ah! The other one's a big monkey. But he's cool. He's pretty cool. They got good jaw strength. Yeah, but he has a relationship with a normal sized woman. That's weird. That's fing weird. <laughs> That's weird as shit. You know That's where you draw the line? You know where God you know what Godzilla does? Just destroys stuff. 
conflagrate entire cities. Mm-hmm. Inferno, <laughs> blaze, <laughs> death. What do you think about that? Japanese them? people the screaming. New- Riley, we got. What the hell is this? I am currently concocting a Wixers in the toilet. Why? No, thank you for asking. I have currently developed a keen interest in alchemy and the mystical sciences. Oh. Yeah. And I'm using the toilet as a vessel for my concoction, so at the ease of one flush, I can send them out into the universe. Oh, uh huh. A- a- and what will that do? If my calculations are correct, and I believe they are, it will make all the bad people in the world dissipate into sparkly dust. Oh. I- is that why you added my brand new highlighter into the mix? Ma, huh. how perceptive you are. Yes, that is correct. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And after this, I was thinking of doing my own interpretation of the Sistine Chapel featuring the cast of the Paw Patrol and permanent marker on this wall. Uh, counter-proposal. You draw it on paper, and then we put it on the wall. <sighs> You're really pigeonholing my creativity, but I, I can do that. That's great. Would you like to do the honors? Sure, why not? We did a good thing. That highlighter was $50. It didn't look good on you anyway. Okay, I got my headphones, my stun gun, my bear mace. Does this work on people too? Probably. And do I need this? A little overkill. Never mind. Okay. All right, run time. I got my headphones in, music on. Seeing you tonight. Okay, it's going to be sunset soon, so this has got to be a short run. Oh, I got to take one headphone out too to hear any potential approaching threats. Sick, it's going to be dark soon. Nobody's going to be out here. I'm going to go for a gump on this run. Hell yeah, let's turn this music up. Yes, I know. Is that truck slowing down? Why is it slowing down? Oh my god, I'm gonna be on Dateline shit. Is that truck slowing down? Weird. Oh, they probably need my directions. Hey, man. Oh god, another runner's approaching. I gotta not breathe so loud. Hold it in. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh god, a man is approaching. Okay, what was that self-defense class I took three years ago? Oh, look, a woman runner. Okay, I gotta seem not creepy, not intimidating. Here we go. Okay, not creepy. Hey. Oh god, that was so creepy! Oh god, that was so creepy! I'm going on star power mode! What? There's something behind you. Shut up! Today we are in Seguin, Texas at the historical Palace Theater. H.A. Daniels built it in 1947. This is the third theater to be on this site. First one was in 1915, second one was in the 1930s, and then this one was uh, built in 1947 by my dad. There was a, a girl and she was holding somebody's hand and she, uh, she got hit. <gasps> There's something behind you. Shut up. Okay. You guys following Jay around when he was here? Like, this is uh, the first photo. What is that? Yeah, there's nothing there now. He not. You know, like, oh my god. Is the man here with us now? He's here. He's here. Don't worry. It's always thinking. It's always thinking. So what did you want to tell me? So keep this to yourself, but I think I might be moving to a different city. What? Why? There's just more opportunity and it's only an hour away, but this is super early stages. I don't even know yet. So just, just please keep it to yourself. Oh, well, okay. Okay. But where are you going? I'll be right back. Okay. You're moving? What? Okay, You're hold on. You're abandoning your family? Dad. Oh, I just kid. Grandma? No, I'm not moving. Why should I turn on the TV? Is this thing on? Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, my daughter is is moving. She's breaking apart this... Sorry. Thank you. She's breaking apart this family. Is this outside the house? I'm just going to leave it open to questions. Anybody? Yes? Oh, my God. Your hair looks really good. What? Oh, oh God, no, no, no. I have, I have not washed my hair in, in several days. There's so much dry shampoo and hairspray in there that if you flicked on a lighter within five feet of me, I would spontaneously combust. C- come to think of it, I haven't showered in, in several days. I probably smell disgusting right now. I, I, I shouldn't be in public right now, to be honest. Uh, I, 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 I'm genuinely sorry. I have plagued you with my feral existence. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I think you smell fine. Listen, if you're looking to do charity work, go down to your local food bank and shove soup in Oliver Twist's mouth, not compliments into mine, okay? 
that was too much, too much, yeah. I have a little story time for you guys, a little cringy story time about how I am in the wild interacting with people. So I go to Starbucks and uh, the girl that hands me the drink is very cute. I get a little flustered, but she gives me a compliment, which was her first mistake. And she says, oh my gosh, I love your headscarf. It's so cute. And I said, my hair's super greasy. I haven't washed it in days. I didn't say, oh, thank you. I'm actually wearing it because I haven't washed my hair. I just said, my hair's super greasy. I haven't washed it in days, period. Full send myself off a bridge. And then she said, okay. And then I, I followed that up by saying, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> and then she said, oh. And then I just piled on that and said, but yours isn't. And I meant, to, like, your hair isn't greasy. And that's just, the compliment would have been, your hair looks nice. But I just basically said, your hair doesn't look like a bag of shit. Um, so I am going to be single for the rest of my life. And I'm just going to stop interacting with human beings. All right? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it in. Nice shot. Yeah, good shot, babe. You get another one now. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, don't worry, babe. You can try it again. Oh, okay. Oh, no, she can't. Dude, chill. That dude chilled me. That was a scratch. What, we're just giving out pretty pity girl passes? Bro, this is her first time. She's never played before. Give her a break. Oh, and I've never skydived out of a plane before, but you think if I forgot my parachute on the first try, I could just slap down an Uno reverse card on that sh**? No! There's no rewind button on the game of life, man. Only play. And maybe pause or fast forward if you're under the influence of certain substances. This isn't skydiving, bro. This is pool. She can go again without any deadly consequences happening. You sure about that? Yeah! Oh no, yeah, you're right, you're right. You know what, let's just start Derek Jeter throwing rules out the window, right? Let's just start robbing banks, you know? Lighting cars on fire. Sleep with each other's moms. Or whatever. Do you sleep with my mom? You know what, man, just give her another turn. I think it's fine. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, good morning. Mind if I grab a sip of your coffee before I head out? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you, baby. Okay, kiss. Bye. Bye. And hey, I love you. I love you too. I love you more. Back up! Oh my god, I almost dropped my coffee. Ow, <laughs> but you didn't. Uh, bring it in, bring it in. Uh, oh, I need a sip of that. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna head out. What'd you drop on the floor there? What? I don't know. I'm out of here, short stack. Love you. Love you too. I'm done dinner. Okay. Oh, you didn't finish your water. It's gross. What do you mean it's gross? It's water. It tastes like nothing. Exactly. What's the point? To live. Me. Okay. Well, lucky for you, I got you an air up water bottle. And all you have to do is get a scented flavor pod, put it on like so, and then pull it up to activate it. And then when you sip it, it'll taste like the flavor pod. No, they. Oh, is that peach? Uh-huh, and I have a bunch of different flavors too, so you... Did you like it? Yeah. Great. More water. Uh, more water. In my air up bottle. More water in your air up bottle. No. No, you know what? One battle at a time. Oh, honey, I like the new hair. It's very funky, very fresh. Thanks. Yeah, very dope. Don't say that. Okay. Knock, knock, kiddo. Mom told me you got a new hairdo, and wow, that's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you doing okay mentally? Yes. Well, then I think it's great. Oh, your hair's so cool. What are you gonna do, copy it? No. Oh, okay, thanks. Wow! Excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt your mission, Agent Romanoff, but you're looking fine as chilled wine in the summertime. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Hair's cool. Wait, really? Do you mean that? Yeah. Thank you! Okay, I have not been sure because everybody's just been giving me mixed signals and this- and now I know. Now I know. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Your outfit looks dumb though. Okay. Riley! What's this about? I need you to help me fold this lawn- What did you say? I said, what are you on about? Why do you sound like that? What's wrong with what I sound like, eh? You're coming here, 
and disrespect my family, my blood, my heritage. Heritage, your entire family is from Boston, Massachusetts. You're lying. Why would I lie about that? You have the audacity to lie about Santa Claus being real. Who's to say you didn't lie about me not being adopted from across the pond? You think I would have picked you? I think this conversation is over. What has gotten into you? Riley, the next episode of Peaky Blinders is coming on. Let's go. Oh, figures. It's you. What did I do? You have Riley watching R-rated TV shows? It's educational. How is it educational? Talk me way out of folding the laundry now, didn't I? What? Yeah, so next time you think about what you say to the Peaky <laughs> Blinders. No. Too much? Too much. Babe, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. You wearing that? That's oh, a new cardigan I got. You not like it? No, no, no. You look beautiful. Let's go. Okay. Okay, babe, you ready to go? Yeah, ready to go. You sure about that? Yeah. Huh. Well, I just got this new cardigan. What, you don't like it? You're beautiful, but it's giving, I don't want to miss the 4 p.m. senior supper special because bingo's at 5. Okay. Is it time to switch to transitional lenses now, too? It's big talk coming from a guy in socks and sandals. Hey, these are Birkenstocks, okay? You look like Adam Sandler. And you look like you grew up watching cartoons that wouldn't see the light of day today, so. I love you, let's go. I love you, too. Oh, you forgot something. What? What'd I forget? Your walker? Hey, dude. Hey, have you had one of these apples? Uh, no, not yet. Why? It tastes like that dentist office we used to go to when we were like 10. What? Pass me one. Yeah, here. Thanks. The dentist office by the hospital? You know, the one by the mall with that really creepy dentist. Oh, the one where he always hit on mom and gave us nasty flavored lollipops. Yeah. That is exactly what this tastes like. Right? Hey, Chris, can you pass me some apple juice, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it. There we go. Thanks. H who are you? <laughs> it's your brother, me, Jacob. Your mom and I thought it'd be a good idea to spend some quality alone time with each other's kids, so what do you guys want to do? You want to see a movie? Bah, maybe. Uh, we could see Space Jam. That is child's movie. Da. What about Fast and Furious? <gasps> da. Uh, no, that's rated like PG-13. You guys are four. But we do have IQ of someone that is 16, so that's basically a piss. Yeah, no, nice try. Fine. We will just tell our mother that you don't care about... Out of family. Fine. I wonder how Katrina's holding up. Mm -hmm. Riley, do you have a death wish? No. You attack from vulnerable points, from behind, not the front. Run it again. But hey. Oh. <laughs> You, you too. What's up, What's up, buddy? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> oh, you smell nice. Yeah, new cologne. You like that? Yeah, I like that. Oh, you been working out? Yeah, check this out. Look at that. Oh, shit. I gotta start calling you Humpty Dumpty, may I? Now get in there. Oh, yeah. As hard as a rock, right? I haven't shaved my legs in a while, and I think I'm gonna go for this look. Um, what do you guys think? Oh. oh, damn it. Chris! Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, I forgot to grab patatas at the store, so I gotta go, but the oven's preheating. The chicken needs to go in for about 20 minutes. Check it. If it's not ready, put it in for a few more, okay? Love ya. I put the chicken in the microwave. Wait, what? You'll be fine. 
Oh my god. Okay, the stove is pretty. <gasps> How long did she say? 20 hours? I don't know. Here is she. How to cook breasts. Oh my god. Delete. History. I'm gonna set the house on fire. How does one know when the chicken is done? So they just run away? How'd it go? The chicken is raw and I called 911 for help. Oh my god. Finally. Mom! What? I don't want a nap! Come on, mommy needs some alone time. You need a nap. I'll let you watch whatever you want when you wake up, okay? Dayline! Anything but Dateline. Jose! Okay. You know, you should really be locking your doors. Where did you spawn from? You don't want the next Ted Bundy to just be waltzing in here. Or an overbearing, no-filter mother who's probably late for a colonoscopy. What? Nothing. Where's Dad? I just left him in the car with the windows cracked. He's listening to his meditation music his therapist told him to listen to. Okay, well, I'm trying to have a peaceful afternoon. Good for you. With no distractions. You deserve it. Alone. You got it. I'm not even here. This is Hey, Mom! <laughs> what are you doing up? I just put you down for a nap. You never specified duration of time. Loophole. Nice one. Come and watch some Dateline with your Nona. No. Good day. Janet, reschedule my colonoscopy. Oh, my God. Thanks for bringing the boys and Diamond Kettle. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, we took a trip down south to go see the boy's father. He's been so locked up. Oh, yeah, with work and stuff? Oh, in jail. <coughs> what? Oh, don't worry. It was just for theft. Oh. Uh, oh. Of a minor. <coughs> oh. League baseball collectible. It was one of a kind. Oh. You need to work on where you pause in your sentences. Oh, a collectible. Oh, well, that's not so bad. <laughs> yeah. And international tax fraud. <coughs> Nice seeing you, comrades. Duh. Hey, ain't no thing. <laughs> yeah, so where's that little cute blondie? <laughs> yeah, Texas and I got a bet going to see which one of us can get her first. <laughs> what? I said Texas and yep, I got he a... he heard what you said. I think he's just trying to refrain from putting you in an untimely grave or... He is constipated? Either way, I would not stick around. Hey, dude. Yeah, so, can you tell me the time? I just want to make sure I'm not running late. Oh, I don't have my phone on me. Oh, it's fine. There's just a clock on the wall over there. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. It's behind. It's, it's one. It's six of thirty. You got it? Whoa! What? You're rushing me, man! I haven't even looked at the clock yet. Get I'm really not. Okay, you know what? I didn't come in here, paint a target on your face, and shoot darts at them like you're doing to me right now. I don't think that I was- You know, you know, you need to learn some patience, okay? I think it was Gandhi that said, day by day, time flies fast. I don't think he ever said that. Okay, maybe I read it on a Hallmark card, but you're missing the point. Can you just tell me the time? You know what? Time's kind of irrelevant, though, isn't it? Everybody's just gonna chill. Like, what is- Take a chill pill. You can't tell the time on a regular clock. No. Oh, Bex is here. I'll get it. What? Oh my god, she's here. Quick, how do I smell? Like fishy crackers. And anxiety. Yeah, he does. My love for Bex is still immeasurable. I need to impress her. Do you guys have any X body spray? Bex, thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. Yeah, no problem. My band, You're Not My Dad's Gate, got cut short because the place lit up. Oh, it got a little too rowdy or, or lit, as the kids say. <laughs> no, the place literally went up in flames. Uh, oh, oh, dear God. I... Stop that. Why are you smiling? My therapist told me I should try to smile more. Yeah, no, no, don't do that. Usually people smile when they're happy or something funny happens, and given the information you just gave me, you Probably shouldn't be doing that. I thought it was kind of funny. She said smiling made me look more approachable. 
Yeah, no, it makes you look more like you're gonna bust your head through my front door and say, here's Johnny. Okay, I'm going to keep my cool. Yeah, just act normal. Da, and just don't say anything stupid. Da. All right, kids, I'll see you later. Have fun with Bex. Hey. Did you know that 43% of your total cells in your body are actually you and the other half is just foreign viruses, fungi, and bacteria? That's funny. <laughs> hey! Hey, you wake! Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to wake you, but now that you're up, could I ask you something? No, go to sleep. It's like, it's really important. <sighs> what? <sighs> I hate you. Hey, guess what song I'm humming? Up, oh, Shania Twain. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. You go, you go, you go. <laughs> that was pr that was pretty good. Right? That was good. We should we should start a band or something. Yeah, yeah, totally. We come up with like a really cool band name or something. <laughs> yeah, totally. I know. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to come play Nintendo with me? No. Come on! Oh my, I just beat it. I'll beat you. Yeah? I could easily overpower you. You want to see power? Hear those footsteps? What? Is that mom? Yeah. And I say we got about 10 seconds before she comes in here and I tell her you roundhouse kicked me in the face. What? No! Or maybe I caught you smoking the devil's wettest and you beat me to shut me up. You're insane. Maybe. Two seconds left. Okay, I'll play with you. What happened? What did you do? I... Nothing, mother. I just twipped. Oh. Okay. If you say so, carry on. You can't unplug my controller when we're playing. Fine. And I get to be Mario. No, what? That's mine! Round two? No, no, okay, okay, fine. That's what I thought. Psycho. Hey, you want to go out somewhere with me? No. Well, maybe we can go to the movies or something. Oh my, you're like a needy little baby. I don't want to be seen with you. Get out. Hey, um, I was going to go to the mall or something. Do you want to go with me? Uh, I'm kind of busy. I could take you to Taco Bell too, my treat. I'm your only friend, aren't I? Yeah. Sad. Yeah, I'll go with you. Cool. Hello? Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. How you doing? Uh, Ma, I can't talk right now. I'm at that German artist show you told me and Riley to go see. Oh, you're gonna love him. Gunther's amazing. He's a really well-versed, humble artist. Have fun. And I am Gunther? A famous unknown German artist performer. Some people refer to me as an extraterrestrial iridescent godlike being, and I'm here to prove that today with my latest exhibit built around Vessi, the shoe. I have realized recently that this can give me superpowers, which then in fact makes me an extraterrestrial iridescent godlike superhuman being. So, 
Scooch over. Let me see. Okay. This piece of... Hums, the lights. This piece is called The First Man to Walk on Water. I feel nothing, which means I am walking on the water. Do you think we should tell him that they're 100% waterproof and that's why he can't feel the water? Nah, this is gold. I am so impressive. Da, I think the performance art went very well. I would not be surprised if I was on all the news networks tomorrow. Thanks for the weather, Jenny. And on today's Idiot of the Day, we have unknown, obscure German performance artist Gunther thinking that Bessie's, a shoe that anybody can wear, gave him superpowers. What an idiot. Back to you, Joyce. Hello, mother. Da, what is it? I have a request. Proceed. I'm simply requesting that you terminate the relationship with Janet so me and Riley can live happily ever after. No. I had a feeling that you would say that, so I have put together a presentation to demonstrate my rebuttal. This should be good. Go ahead. Okay. Sergey. Oh, da. This is you and me. Happy, content, and carefree. I have a little more muscle than that, but keep going. This is you and Janet. Happy in love, but this is me. Sad, alone, miserable, desperate, dejected, afraid. Okay, thesaurus, let's keep it moving. Okay, next. This is me. Young, full of life and promise. And this is you. Old, decrepit, frail. So close to that, you can see the Grim Reaper waving at you through the peephole in your front door. Let's get to the point. Flash forward to your inevitable soon demise. Janet is sad for the rest of her short and miserable life. How old do you think we are? I am sad. Everyone is sad. But this could all be avoided if you let me and Riley be happy together forever. Is that me in the casket? So let me get this straight. You want me, a single mother from Russia who came over and had her husband leave her and left her with her two children who never thought she would find love again, but then she found it again with a woman that finally loved her back and she is so happy, but you want me to give all that up so my four-year-old son can live out his first puppy love? Yeah, pretty much. No. I have insane news. And part of me wanted to do a skit, and part of me wanted to do like a cool transition, but I just, I wanted to tell you. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to bask in Kevin's glory. Anyway. I bought a house! My first house. And I'm looking at it right now. And I have worked and saved since I was 14 to have this. And you guys and TikTok and all this stuff that happened in the past year absolutely fast-tracked that, and I just want to say thank you for supporting me because you guys are absolutely part of this whole journey it is a fixer-upper and i'm excited i'm excited to get to work on this thing so yeah this is gonna be a project but i'm excited and without further ado i'll do a shitty transition into the house Ta -da! Ta -da! yeah i know i'm excited too so Jeremy is having a party at his house this Saturday. Amazing. Oh my God, yes. Oh, nice. Oh, what time does it start though? Because I just want to make sure there's enough time to do the weekend chores. <laughs> you know, our parents make us do chores on Saturday morning before we can do any weekend activities. What? <laughs> yeah, never, never mind. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I was thinking that we could get ready at about 9 to go to home from the party. Nice. Good call, because curfew is at 9. Yeah. To go to the party. <laughs> no, I'm just Josh and his, his parents are going to be there though, right? No. Oh, okay, but it's a boy-girl party, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's BYOB, so... Oh, bring your own board game. Nice. I just picked up this new version of Catan and Monopoly, so. Oh, my God. Ki I'm kidding. I know what B BYOB means. Great. So, do you guys want to sneak out around sneak nine? Out. You know what? I just, I remembered I actually have something. 
that night, so. Oh my, Chris, you can either choose to be a loser or you can choose to sneak out and have fun. You know what, Brittany? I choose life. I'm out. Have a nice day, ma'am. Oh, sup, Katrina. Shade. <laughs> oh, you picked up some no-name simple check items. Sick. Look. Oh, the simple check just means it's made with 10 ingredients you don't want in your food, like artificial flavoring. No, what is this you're talking about? The brand. What brand? No name. What do you mean the brand has no name? No, the brand is no name. What brand has no name? The brand is called No Name with the simple check. There is nothing simple about having no name. Oh my god, whatever. Enjoy your No Name simple check items. Oh, No Name and simple. Exactly. Just like you. What? Oh, oh, oh. can I drive? Uh, yeah, sure. Nice. Nona, that was a stop sign. I thought they were optional. Oh, it's so nice to drive again. What, when's the last time you drove? Last year my license got taken away because I'm one point away from being legally blind. I'll be right back. Do you have any toilet paper? Uh... I have a golf score sheet. Perfect. Good thing we stopped because that came out of me like the Niagara Falls. That guy said it was Sunday. That means we missed church. That's okay, we'll do a shot in Jesus' name later today. I'm kind of hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay, let's go to McDonald's. What are you getting? Uh, probably a six-piece McNugget meal with extra sauces. Don't you have a wedding coming up? What is this shit? Change the song! Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom again. Again? Yeah. Do you need something to wipe with? That's okay, I got the scorecard from before. What kind of peanut butter do you like? Butter. Smooth? Nutty? What do you like, crunchy? S smooth. I like smooth too. It's nice for spreading, not only on bread, you know what I mean? You know, if you keep eating McDonald's, you're gonna need some heavy duty spanks at your wedding. I don't need these anymore. I'm more barren than the Sahara. I need these because every time I sneeze, it's like the floodgates open. I feel like one of the Kardashians. Are these nice? Yeah. Don't lie to me. Mm. You're a fucking liar. What about these? I like these. Uh, oh yeah. My <laughs> You're my best friend, Katrina. I know. I wonder what is taking mother so long. Judging by how dilated her eyes were and how sweaty her brow was while driving, I'm going to assume she's finally confessing her feelings for Janet. What? You're my person, and I don't want to mess that up. Just tell her you're part of the Wine of the Month Club, you'll be a show in for sure. Sorry. You're the only person in my life who's always been there since I met you. Um, hello? You too. And I can't stand the thought of losing you. But I also can't stand the thought of not at least trying this. Yay! No! What did she say? They're gonna try and date. What? They're gonna try and date. They've penetrated the gate. Oh my god. Do not use that tone with me. The amount of disrespect. You think I would ever talk to my mother that way? I don't think so. Oh, oh, you gonna cry back there? I'll pull over. I'll give you something to cry about. You are lucky we are running late. We're here. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, they're great. The kids are great. Yeah, no. <laughs> For sure, yeah. I know. No, it's good. Yeah, no, we'll be right in. Wouldn't miss Pastor John's sermon. Yeah. Have fun at day camp, kids. Duh, play nice. All right, maggots. We got a new camper with us. Uh, Suorse. I think it's Thierse, sir. Um, it's Sarsha. What kind of backwards ass Irish witchcraft name is that? I like it. All right, today we are earning our flash badge. Flash badge? Yeah, it's for quick thinking skills, obviously. So, you're getting chased by a black bear. Do you climb a tree or run away? You should always- Not you, Mafia boss, I'm asking the lucky charm. Climb a tree? 
Eh. Wrong. Trick question. It's neither. Now you're a gourmet boo boo bear lunchable. What's the right answer, Pipsqueak? Trip you first and then walk away, Swoe. I respect that. Give her the badge. Serious? Oh. Thanks. Chris? Yeah? I've asked you three times now to do the dishes. You're grounded. Well, I'll just run away. Oh, you're gonna run away? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't pack it or anything, but I put a pillow in there because the concrete, not good for lumbar support. Okay. Yeah, and shit costs money out there in the real world, so I'd stop by the unemployment office on Davy Street, and there's people cracked out of their minds there, so I'd take your toothbrush, use it as a multi-tool, make a shiv, protect yourself. Uh, but I, I don't think that- Yeah, it's supposed to be a big storm out there tonight too, so I'm gonna order the fam jam some pizza, maybe make some hot chocolate, watch a movie, but you enjoyed out there, Oliver Twist. I think I changed my mind. Yeah, send me a postcard. Why am I nervous? <laughs> don't be. You told her we're dating, right? I know she didn't like me to begin with. <laughs> Mama, mangu ye tibet skazet koisto. Da. Uh, Janet. Da, you told the rock. Nivojna. Katrina. Da. Okay. Maybe to impress her, say something in Russian to her. Yeah, okay. Like what? Uh, say you are beautiful. Vyochin krasivaya. Vyochin krasiva? No. Vyochin krasivaya. Vyochin krasiva. Vyochin krasivaya. You know what? Going faster doesn't help, okay? Vyochin krasivaya. That, good enough. Just go. Okay. Hey. One sec. How do you say you're beautiful in Russian again? Da! It's- No, no, no! It is, uh, Tine Krensi Brindila. Okay, got it, thanks. Tine Krensi Brindila. What Yes, Nile. So this, you start. You're in! Sit! Sit! Oh, okay. What the fuck? Hey, your hair looks really nice. What's your problem? What? I'm just complimenting you. I can't do- is that a crime? Since when do you compliment me? You want something, don't you? What's the catch? There's no catch. Just take the compliment. Huh, it's just a little hard to believe because yesterday you told me I look like the female version of William H. Macy, so... I was joking. He's not even that bad looking. You know he is. Well, he makes up for it with his personality and his humor. Which you lack. You know what? Oh my god, I came in here and I genuinely thought your hair looked nice. Okay, just take the freaking compliment. Thank you. I actually just got it done. I was gonna do like full platinum, but then I thought I'd keep it more natural, do some highlights, you know, so <laughs> thanks. That's great. And on a completely unrelated note, I need a ride to a party. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Uh, yeah, I got an appointment in a few hours, but I'd love to. Cool. Ooh, and after we can sneak in a lunch at that new restaurant that just opened. Ooh, yes. Are you going to have enough time, though? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Can't. I have an appointment. Oh, uh, bummer. Is it soon? Five o'clock. It's 11 a.m. Exactly. You have six hours before your appointment. Yeah, I don't get what you're not understanding. You have a lot of time to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna wait. So you're just gonna sit there for the next six hours and do nothing? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I'm single. I really thought Doug was the one. Here's some of the best advice I ever got, okay? Men are like refrigerators, okay? It's not about what they look like on the outside. It's about what they got to offer on the inside. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm.
Doug had a nice fridge. Are you saying I should get back with Doug? No, no, no. Okay, you're missing the point. Okay, Doug is the fridge in this scenario. All right, I know he wasn't the Hollister model, but he wasn't that bad. No, see, Doug is a nice, expensive KitchenAid fridge with no fingerprints on the outside, okay? But when you open it, all you see is expired milk, bacon soda, a six-pack of PBRs, and half a jar of pickles in it. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Doug had a Whirlpool fridge. Oh, my God. What I'm saying is he's pretty on the outside, but he's empty and rotten on the inside, okay? I see. I see. Okay. But what about when you have company? It's always good to have a nice fridge on display. Yeah, until they open it and realize there's zero substance inside it. Oh, see, simple. Close it, forget about it, order food. No, you can't keep ordering food, Amanda. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But answer me this. If a straight man is a fridge, what is a lesbian? We're like dryers. There's either nothing inside or all our clothes hot and ready to move in with you. It's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish I was a lesbian. But I just can't wrap my head around the vagine. But I guess I did once when I came out with my mum. But I think that was just a one and done situation. Okay. Oh, this talk has got me hungry. You got any snacks? Yeah, I got a fridge full of them, and you know why? Because I'm not Doug. Ah, I see what you did. Yeah, see? <sighs> hey, Mom, can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I was just about to hold a family meeting in here, too, so you might as well. Great. So, hypothetically, if someone was to put a fork in the microwave, would it explode? Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Hypothetically, how long would it take to explode? I don't know, like a couple minutes maybe? I'm not a scientist. Uh, did you put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically. Oh my god, how long has it been in there? How long have we been talking? Oh my god. Oh shit. April Fools. It's May 5th. <laughs> yeah, because you'd be expecting it on April 1st. So... Hypothetically, it did explode. I don't think you know what hypothetically means. Do you hear that? Hear what? Uh, I don't know. Never mind. Where are they? No, there it is again. There, did you hear that? I don't hear anything. Oh man, I must be going crazy. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. It's a day. a lot like Christmas with the return of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. And what's snickerdoodly fantastic is that they have all new premiere movies and new movies every night from November 26th all through to Christmas. That's cool. Great. Good to know. Now get out of our house. Okay. <gasps> but I wanted to watch It's a Wonderful Lifetime holiday movies with her. Snacks. <gasps> I don't know. And beverages. Fine. Yay! Yay! Hey, Miss Amy. Thank you for coming in, Mrs. and Mrs. Ah, my last name is none of your business. Janet and Katrina is just fine. Come to think of it, I don't even know your last name. Good. Right, so Riley had show and tell today, and the assignment was to bring in something that means a lot to her parents. Oh, I didn't even know she was doing that. <laughs> Clearly. So most kids brought in family heirlooms like jewelry, instruments, photos. Okay. All right. Um, but Riley um, brought in, uh, you know what? Let me read to you what she presented before she presented the item. Okay. <clears throat> this is my mom's favorite thing. It's small and hard to find. It makes a lot of noise, and it makes people make a lot of noise. Ah, uh, oh my god. A what? And then she proceeded to say, actually, it makes people squeal. Oh my god. Which, which was one of the words we used in last week's spelling test, so there's that. What, 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 what color, what color was this item? Co I don't know why that, that, it, it was, it's black. 
a black one. Do we even have a black one? No, I don't think so. We had to return a black one because it was white. This Go is the item that Riley brought in. A taser. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, that hurt that? <laughs> that was close one. Oh, God. because we thought, we thought. What did you think it was? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was done to bring the magic wand from your top drawer that sounds like an electric toothbrush, but it was too high to reach. But you could reach the taser? Yeah. We're gonna go. Yep, and I'll take that. Oh, I could report you to the police, you know. You don't even know our last names. What? And I am holding a taser. Okay, carry on. So, it's New Year's Eve. What do you want to do? Well, technically, New Year's is kind of like Russian Christmas. Oh, I had no idea. How do you celebrate? What do you do? We eat, drink, and party excessively. And we also have terrifying hairy fat man, Diet Marosa, who delivers presents to children who are assholes. So, so it's the same. Eh, but better, because it's Russian. Right, right. Oh, hey, Bex. Hey. Oh, Bex is here. What? My palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on a sweater already. The moms. Esketi. What brings you here? Just thought I'd invite you guys to my band. You're not my dad's New Year's Eve gig tonight. Duh! Oh, that sounds fun! Uh, and uh, where where is it? It's at the old burned out abandoned Applebee's on 6th Street. That sounds about right. And uh, are the songs appropriate for, for the kids? Yeah, we do a lot of covers, but just change the words. So instead of Stacy's mom has got it going on, it's my stepdad Tom manipulates my mom. And we do some original songs too. Like, don't tell me what to do. Your mustache is sus. And the pain was gone until you boned my mom. Okay, yeah, I think, I think we'll, uh, we'll think about it. The Yeah. Okay, here's my band's flyer if you change your mind. Oh. You used the wrong your in you're not my dad. Okay. And thank God for that. Uh, excuse me, miss, are you from around here? Uh, yeah, born and raised. How can I help you? Oh, fantastic. Our Google Maps are just being wacky, and we need directions to the local mall, so... For sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, people, let's get this lady some directions. Memory, you're up. I'm on it. I'm just, um, having some slight issues. What well, seems to be the issue, Memory? Uh, no issue, sir. I think I, I found some random points of interest we could toss out for now. Perfect, send it. Uh, sorry, yeah, so, uh, you're gonna go up the hill and you're gonna see a Wendy's, okay, and then you're gonna take a right, but if you see a lamp post with a bunch of graffiti genitalia on it, you went a little too far, so you're gonna wanna come oh, back. Yeah. could we just get, uh, uh, street names? That might make it a little bit easier, yeah. Street names. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> we need street names, ASAP Rocky memory. Yeah, sir, I just, I can't seem to find any. We um, have lived here our entire lives. How have we not retained any street names? Okay, I found something, I found something. Okay, it, it looks like all the local street name information was overrided by knowing all the lyrics to Eminem's recovery and relapse albums and knowing the entire dialogue to Step Brothers and She's the Man. I don't, God, damn it! Oh, uh, we'll put something out there, anything, anything on it. No hablo inglés. What the f*** was that? I found some ninth grade Spanish in the back room and I just, I thought it might get us out of this situation. I, I don't, I don't know, sir. Oh my god. Oh, no problemo. Yo hablo espanol, okay? Yo necesito. She knows Spanish? Okay. Throw some more out. We took it for four years. I hear what you're saying, sir, but it's showing me that grade 10, 11, and 12 is completely wiped from our memory. Uh, it's just showing a black screen with the word repressed on it. I don't... Do we remember how to run? Not well, but yes. Send it. On it. 
Is that the way to the mall? I can't, okay. Oh my god, shut up, shut up. Oh, shut up, when you stop being such a stuck up little business. Oh my god, I'm done, I'm done, I'm, I'm done. done. Don't talk to me again, okay? Don't, I won't. I have had it up to the gush dang stratosphere with you two. When's the last time you two did your chores? I'm not the maid around here. No, I was just- no, I Don't talk back to me, okay? You know what? I'm just gonna do it myself, okay? So ungrateful. I just, I, I can't. She's literally insane. Insane. Psychotic, right? Mentally unstable. Yeah, and you notice when she's mad, her right eye just twitches? It's impossible not to stare at it. Right? Swear to God, it's gonna like pop out of her head. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh the entire time. <laughs> yeah. You wanna go to the mall or something? Or grab some food? Yeah, sure. Cool. <laughs> Start the car. Yeah. I can, I actually do that. Ah! What happened? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, Mom, it's just a little cut. It's fine. Oh, my. You need stitches. Stitches? What's going on? What? No, no, it's fine. It's small. It's fine. Oh, it's all my fault. I should have splurged and got the Costco knives. These Walmart ones are slippery. I oh, got. Where's the first aid kit? Dad, we don't need a first aid kit. Then your great aunt Linda cut her finger just like that, and then it got affected, and she died. Who? Exactly. Oh, my God. You guys, it's... Is that an ambulance? What Thank is... you. In here, fellas. Oh, thank God. Seriously? What happened? I cut through my finger! Alright, well walk it off. Uh, walk it off? What is going on in here? The queen of drama. Uh-huh. Oh, can you still move it? No! Are you really trying? Yeah, I'm trying! Rub some dirt in it, you'll be alright. Okay. I'm married! Why are you leaving me? If I didn't do anything wrong, well, I don't understand that's how you like me! That was so fun. Honestly, I forget like how fun a playground is. Just Wait, okay. Off of I'm gonna it. commit. I'm gonna commit to it now. I'm gonna try to run in a straight line. Ready? Three, <laughs> two, go. <laughs> no! Oh, I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, just stay still. It was Play great. Did you have fun? It was great. I had a lot of fun. I go every like, week. You forget about yeah. I go to different ones. Well, are you going when kids are there? No. Uh, okay. to be, can I be honest with you? Yeah. I usually go in the middle of the night. I like that. That's cool. Like 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's like shit I did when I was a teenager. Like, we'd go to the uh, park. I'm just behind in maturity. Yeah. But we'd like to not probably... not. We wouldn't play at the park. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what would we do at the park? Just a little... Just a little... You know what I'm saying? Y'all are playing at the park life. and I'm just on the thing going, whoa! <laughs> no, that literally put me up with all the teeter-totter like, come on and ride with me! Okay, now, it was very expensive and it was very hard to come by, but here is your Christmas present. Thanks, Mom! Oh, this is awesome! Yeah, it's an air-up water bottle that comes with flavored scented pods. Oh, so then you fill it with regular water and then it tastes what the flavor pods smell like? Yeah, exactly! You just gotta pull up and activate the flavor pod and then just dip away. Oh, very cool, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, here, I got something for you, too. Thank you. Like I said, I had to pull some serious strings to get that Aero bottle. I tell you what, it is not easy. You got me an Aero bottle, too. I did. Does that mean you know about the Aero holiday bundle sale? I know about the Aero holiday bundle sale, yeah. So you know you can save up to 30% off the bundles? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's still a great present, Mom. You're right. <laughs> they are pretty nifty. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if the budget police, a.k.a. your father asks, we did get it on sale. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dude, I've learned so much from watching so much true crime stuff. My mom made me watch that when I was like... Could you get away? Like, di <sighs> How'd you I do already it? did. Okay, <laughs> cameras on eh? oh that's one of the questions i wanted to ask you yeah how would you kill me and not get caught what i couldn't no yeah uh, uh, okay so okay world. i need to do this though i need to know the scenario and why i have to kill you i murdered all your dogs yeah okay um so <sighs> all right lay it on me we'd be out back right okay we'd be standing by the pool okay Ooh, i like this 
I would go into my fridge. I've already got a piece of ice that I've turned into okay, a shank. Are going to go icicle route? I'm going to stab you in the heart and push you in the pool so it just looks like you drowned. But I got stabbed. Yeah, but they're going to be so... Yep, never mind. Hello. Are you a miserable housewife between the years 1910 and 1970s who has stubborn, defiant children who won't listen and a husband that comes home from his 9 to 5 and does nothing but scold and scream at you and you'd like to take your frustrations out on them through your cooking? Well, I've got just the horrendous recipes for you. Oh, that's delightful. It's bubbly on the top, which is kind of gross. <sighs> My husband's gonna divorce me for that. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm a woman, I can't be funny, it's fine. Just skipping some steps. I'm cutting this up. Put it on high, I don't give a shit. Good enough. Ah, it's melting! I can't multitask. What did 50s housewives with ADHD do? Probably just stay single or go to an asylum or something. Oh, it's hard being a mother. Oh, please fix my marriage. All right, well, good enough. Powdered sugar and sniff it. Don't snort it. This is like science. Again, do it with your kids if you like them, you know? Hell yeah. Gonna... Just coating, you're just coating the banana. Don't be gross about it, it's a baking video. Calm down, all right. Commit. Who made this recipe? A sad, sad housewife, that's who made it. Who hates her husband. Bananas are ready, the bananas are ready. Um, Cause of the lemon sauce, that's really fun. Like shut the f Who looks better with eyelash extensions than they would without them. Just let people wear lashes, just let, if it makes them feel beautiful, just let it be, you know? I used to be a lash technician, and a lot of people, a lot of women and men, I would do, they just feel a little bit more confident with it, and I think that's a beautiful thing, you know? Not that any of them needed it, but if it made them feel better, then I think that's great, you know? No hate to this creator, I understand what they're saying, they think that people just look better naturally than with lash extensions, which is valid. But, you know, if it makes them happy, I think that's fantastic. So, yeah, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say that you're doing great and you're beautiful and you do you, boo. Okay, love you, bye. Oh. What are you playing, Chad? Why do you care? You don't game. I game. I play Disney Dreamlight Valley. The customization option is pretty cool. You can customize any furniture or clothing options into limitless combinations. You can even have a different outfit for each day. Okay, what else can you do? You could decorate around town to make it your own. That just sounds like a lot of work, like chores. Sounds stressful. No, it's not. It's very atmospheric and relaxing. And not that you care, but I can even do fun activities with characters in the game. Like right now I'm cooking with Remy. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. I was just hanging out with Mickey Mouse, and now I'm cooking with Remy. This is wild. You didn't tell me you could do magic. I know, right? I also changed up my shirt to match my eyes. You like it? Yeah, it's very tasteful. I like that. Sick. Oh, wow. Look at this. I feel ethereal. I would just walk down the aisle like that. Oh, wow. Immediately. Walkability. Amazing. I feel like a fairy princess. <laughs> Danceability. Oh, I feel like I could be in a cult. Immediately, this is not something I would wear, but I actually very enjoy it. I very much enjoy the feel of it and wearing it. It feels very nice. I love the sleeves. Even the back, I think, is very sweet. It's a little bit big on me. If it was fitted, I might like it a little bit more. But let's get up on my pedestal. Immediately, it's giving cult bride. It's giving my grandma might have worn this. It's giving 1930s wedding. It's giving I know how to make a lemon meringue pie without a recipe. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad Coachella is live streaming their event on YouTube. No, Coachella. Right. Coachella. 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 When's your sister's wedding again? Like in an hour or so, we got time. Oh, yeah, we got time. Oh, check this out, multi-view. Is that feature where you could watch up to four stages at once? It's hell yeah, Coachella, baby. Coachella. 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 It was not a work phone, it was simply a secondary personal phone. He told me it was a work phone. I thought that the company was paying for the work phone. That's what I thought. No. So I'm learning that relationships are all about compromise, all right? I moved in with Caleb and um, we're just, you know, if I do the laundry, he does the dishes. If he cooks, I clean. You know, if he asks me to get him Chick-fil-A, I get six chickens. Look at him. I wish my boyfriend was my son.
What? I know it sounds weird. It does. It does. But hear me out. He's such a nice boy. He's just perfect in every way, and I really love him. Oh, I'm already cringing. <sighs> Let's continue. But I can't stop imagining him as my handsome son. This is giving boy mom so much, and it's not acting. She's and he's not actually her son. Oh my god. Why do? Why does it? Why do you? Why do you? Why do people want to? Their sons. The way I would care for him, I'd love him so much. Honestly, he'd be the perfect son. His mom is kind of weird and doesn't love him as much as she should, in my opinion. What do you want her to for? To her son? It's her son. It's not her friend. It's her son. It's not her boyfriend. It's her son. It's her son. If he was my son, I'd be cooking for him every day, cuddling him and taking proper care of him. And I'd love to be able to even just call him my son. What the f All right, we're here. Dude, I'm so pumped for this party. Yeah, me too. Too bad it's raining though. I had to wear my stupid looking gum boots. Yeah, it's a bummer. Oh well though. Yeah. Whew. Sick. <laughs> Dude, what the hell's on your feet? Oh, they're my new vessies. You wore your fancy sneakers while it's dumping rain outside? Hey dude, they're comfortable, stylish. I'm trying to find a cute girl that I gotta impress. Oh yeah, and who do you think is gonna get the girl? The guy with wet socks and smelly feet or the guys with boots and a brain? Actually, they're breathable and 100% waterproof. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh my god, are those vessies? Uh, yeah, and my name is Jessie. Rhymes with Bessie. So I hear they're 100% waterproof, is that true? Yeah. Test them out. Okay. Wow. Holy crap. Where'd that water come from? Hey, why didn't you answer my other six calls? I thought you were dead. Yeah, sorry, I was at the doctor's getting a weird mole checked out. What's up? Oh my good lord, you might as well be. Might as well be what? Dead! No, Mom, the doctor said it was benign, okay? He had to take a biopsy just in a case. A biopsy? Yeah, it's just standard procedure. Is it malignant? Stop Googling stuff. I'm not. Uh-huh. Look, I'm fine. I always knew this would happen to me. What? Mom! You no, know you're too young! Oh my... It's nothing! What's your favorite nostalgic emotional song? What's my favorite... Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Why? Okay, yeah, that's a good choice. For what? Your funeral. I know it's morbid, but we have to plan for the inevitable. I'm not dying! Okay! Okay. Jeez. I know orchids are your favorite, but carnations are much more affordable. I'm hanging up now. I'll call around. Okay. Oh, look who came crawling back to Facebook. I just need some photos I posted like 10 years ago. Yeah, that's what they all say. And then you accidentally end up searching up your high school crush's profile and see that her husband's out of the picture when she's got a new rack and that's all you could think about. What? Type in your email. Okay. And your password. Okay, uh... That's not your password. Damn it. Nope. Try again. <sighs> not even close. Uh, you got one more try. Or else. Or else what? I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. Okay. Nope. Damn it. Alright, you got two options. Listen to me, okay? One. You can send the verification code to the email that you're trying to log into now and change your password. And two, you can f*** off and die. Okay, we'll send the verification code. Okay, I got it. What do you want a f***ing gold star? Paste it and put in the new password. Okay. Again? <sighs> you always have to type it twice. Can't use the same password as you did before. Uh, no, I didn't! You know, if you are who you say you are, you can do this, all right? You can tell me how many mother bicycles are in that mother grid. How many bicycles? What? Uh, three? Wrong. Oh, come on! You have a robot. Thank you. Thank you. Nicki Minaj. I think your music's freaking awesome and you freaking slay. And to anybody who ever says that I can't dance, I'm gonna show them this comic because Nicki Minaj gave me three tens, bitch. It's a great day. Oh, what a great day.
I'm gonna go shake my ass. Okay, and welcome back to Anger Management Group Therapy. Today we're gonna be talking about methods that we're using to help us calm down. David, how about you go first? Journaling, mostly. Good. Leonard? Uh, running. That's great. Bob? Hmm? Oh, yeah, uh, meditation and incest lately. Sorry? Incest. It's been really calming me down. I highly recommend it. Dude, what the f***? Remember quiet voices. Sorry, dude, what the f***? With who? I live with my brother, so usually him. Okay. You're gay? David, volume. It's not gay, David. Humans have been doing this for thousands of years. Okay, we're here. Let's bring it to here. Is he okay with that? I mean, he complains about the smell sometimes, but he knows I'm going through something, so... That's insane, man. Oh, what? You can write down all your feelings in a Hello Kitty diary, but I can't light up some lemongrass incest once in a while? Oh, <laughs> you're talking about incense. Pretty sure that's illegal. Last time I checked. Okay. Why are you chicken? Did you go to public school? Were you yep. a homeschool kid? Okay. Yeah, just a small little town. Prom king. Oh, sh damn. Dude. Yeah, it was, it was, it was the highlight of my life. It's been downhill <laughs> since then, but... You were actually prom king? That's yeah, so yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so awesome. Yeah, there was a graduating class of like... How many... Yeah, how many people? Like 320 people. So it's not That's like... That's a lot. Is it? What the f yeah, that's impressive. No, oh, the town, like every town over, I feel like it was always like kids with like 1,700 kids on their high school. I guess, and shit. Well, yeah, I guess my mine was probably pretty similar. It was like three, 400 people. Yeah, my graduating it felt class. like a lot. It's a lot. I was, there, I was like, yeah. And for them to just be like, this is a guy. You. No, you're a kid. That's awesome. Did you campaign? Or like, how did that work? I don't, I don't think you can. I think you just, people just vote. That's so, that'd be really dude, weird. Please let me be prom king. So were you like, were you friends with everybody? Like, were you super social? Yeah, I'm very. I like to think that I'm a pretty. Uh, what is it? Not a introvert. Yeah, I'm an extrovert. extrovert. Crime, conspiracy, cults, murder, and you. All of which are my favorite topics to talk about. That's a little weird. Anyway, let's start off with you look absolutely fabulous today, all snuggled up. Or maybe you're not, but get snuggled up, because we're going to talk about some not so snuggly topics. We're talking about cults today, and I'm excited to dive into this cult. So we're going to do the children of God. And it sounds nice, but it's not. The main cult leader in charge, David Berg, is the biggest POS you have ever heard of in your life. And I'm excited to deep dive into this. I'm very interested in how cult leaders come to be and how they get these people to follow them and everything. So let's unbuckle our seatbelts, go Mach 5 down the highway, slam on the brakes, and deep dive through this windshield together. We're talking about Robert Picton. For those of you who don't know who Robert Picton is, in 2001, Robert Picton was charged for murdering 26 women, dismembering them, and feeding them to his pigs on his pig farm in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada. Although Picton claimed to have killed 49 women between the years 1980 and 2002. And this quickly became the largest serial killer investigation in Canadian history. And this one hits really close to home, literally, because I lived 30 minutes away from where this took place. And I was alive. We're not going to talk about how old I am, but I remember all of this happening. And I remember vividly how this investigation absolutely shook the city and neighboring cities to their core. It was terrifying to know somebody so close to home was committing these atrocities against mothers, daughters, sisters, aunties and it struck fear in a lot of people for a really long time because this was an extremely long drawn out investigation just gotta move that oh, there we go that's a good fire great fire solid fire yeah oh it's my favorite smell best smell i think i could survive in the woods for like a really long time. You made this fire with an Us Weekly magazine gasoline and a Hooters tea lighter. No, you could not, Steve. I could too. Oh, really? Shh. How long do you guys think I could hold my hand in that fire? No, Todd, don't. Ten seconds. Rick, are you f dumb? Ten seconds? Ah! Five seconds. Todd, why? Uh, you owe me five bucks. Five bucks? I didn't agree to sh. You guys think Morgan Freeman could actually be God? Every day, probably. Okay, go play, kids. Yeah, go on. Move it. Sounds good. All right. So, how are they doing? Oh, they're great. Buddy just got off his first school suspension and is doing some volunteer work. Unvoluntarily, but... Oh. And Tex... Well, he's alive. So... Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, Can we get some juice, please? Oh, sorry, we don't have juice. Oh. Well, they will not touch water even if they were dying in a desert. Oh, you know what? You guys go play. I'll get you something. Riley refused to drink water too until I got these air up bottles. <laughs> you just fill it up with regular water, put the lid on like so, and then you put on a flavor pod, and then you lift it up to activate it so when they sip it, 
the smell of the flavor pod is what it tastes like. Oh, that's like when I bake cookies and I don't want to be bad and eat them, so I just sniff them a lot, but then I just wake up at 2 a.m. and eat them all anyway. Kind of, but no. Anyway, try it. All right. Phew, that's good. Well, I'll be. That's a miracle. If I'm not ending up in prison one day would be the miracle. What was that? Nothing. I still take showers with my brother. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, I guess. I don't really know what to say. So now, for the last three years, my brother and I have been taking almost every shower we've had together. It's just become routine and not something I even realize is weird at this point. <laughs> Whenever we get back from practice, we just go to our bathroom, change in front of each other, and shower and talk like nothing's different. Okay. On days we don't have practice, we get out of bed and into the showers at the same time. <laughs> Usually even after a run or workout, we'll do it together. Do, do what? what? It's just easier and not something we mind now. So, why not? It's honestly also the only time we talk completely one-on-one, -on -one, I bet. Hey, uh, Tony, can you pass me the soap? Oh yeah, here you go. You gonna pick that up? I'm not gonna pick that up, that's gay. Okay, twist this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. The other way. Okay. Ease up a bit. You just want to nudge it. Oh, do you want me to do this or not? Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. I won't say anything. Okay, go ahead. Okay. No, I'm done. I think this is an important topic to talk about because I think people forget how ugly the world and the internet can truly be, especially children and parents and sometimes we just need a little reminder so that's kind of what this is today because not that i have a child but just being in the space myself i know firsthand how many creeps there are let alone how many creeps there are towards children i mean i deal with it on a daily basis but i'm a full-grown woman i can handle myself you know but kids can't and the only way to protect them is is through their parents so i just kind of want to talk about the issue that's happening and maybe it's relevant to you maybe it's not but i think in general it's just going to be good to talk about so today we are talking about some of the people i despise the most in the world and that's adults that like kids a little too too much, aka PDF aisles, and adults that exploit their children for views and money. And we're talking about the account of a four-year-old named Ren Eleanor, and more specifically, the person that runs that account, which is her mother, Jacqueline. I was not privy to this beforehand because she has had controversy beforehand, which we will talk about as well, but I've been seeing it nonstop for about a week on my TikTok for you page, and I'm just appalled by it. Oh, what? I wanted to go to Coachella this weekend, but I forgot about this stupid family thing that came up. Now I can't go. Oh, bummer. Same here, though. I got a gig this weekend. I can't remember where. Oh, that sucks. What's the family event you got going on? Sister's wedding. Bummer. Did I hear somebody talking about Coachella? Yeah, we can't go, okay? Rub it in. No, he can't go either. Sadly, she is correct, but it matter not, because I can live stream it on the YouTube app on my TV. Seriously? Really? Yeah. Well, what if we want to watch multiple artists at once? Fret not, because you can use the multi-view option on your TV when you're live streaming it and view four different stages at once. Sick! So we can just watch the whole thing on TV on the couch? Exactly. Couchella. 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 I remember where I'm playing. It's your sister's wedding. Don't want to eat candy. But the parasites in me want the candy. Mom, Dad, Alyssa and I are gonna go to the mall. Oh, okay. Well, when are you gonna be back? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, we need to know. Well, do you guys just wanna come with us? Listen, I don't wanna hear any back talk, young- What? Do you wanna come with us to the mall? Tom, what's happening? I think they want to spend time with us. In public? It sounds like it. I mean, you hear about this kind of thing happening to other parents, but you never think it's gonna happen to you? Yeah, okay, I feel like we gotta play it really cool. Yes, so we don't seem too eager and scare them off. Like, yeah, whatever, if you want us to. Yes. Oh, yes, that's good. Like, we did have plans, but I guess. Oh, that's good. I believed you. Very cool. As a cucumber. Are you guys coming or not? Oh, uh, I guess. There is nothing in the world I want more! Tom. 
Okay, we can take my car. Okay, great. Oh, nice. Cool as a cucumber. Am I the scallywake for mentioning that I had chronic toothache while my wife was in labor? <laughs> Yes. I just know. I just know where this is gonna go. Okay, okay but before reading it. Okay, yeah. She just had a baby I've, recently. I just had a baby, that. and last year at this time, I needed a root canal. And oh, I will tell you, yes. tooth pain yes. is real. It's real. For it's sure. real. It hurts. It hurts. However, <laughs> I will not deny the tooth pain. However, having contractions every few minutes, over and over oh, and over so and over, you. it's a lot to what handle. It, what does a contraction feel like? I remember it hurting so bad, yeah. but at this point I can't pinpoint exactly what it really felt like. You no, you get like brainwashed. I don't know. Like it was I've like heard about mouse. This. It's of oxytocin that leaves your body when you have a baby. Yeah, it makes you forget all of the pain, and then you have cute face. Alyssa's a peds nurse, by the way. Yeah, I'm cute the only face. one that's. Oh, no, this is great. I think this will make a great vacation house. Yeah. Oh my. What is that? Hmm? Oh. That's just a Canadian. It's 20 degrees below freezing. That can't be a person. Yeah, you'll see a lot of them this time of year, but they're very friendly. If you got a 2-4 and hot poutine, they'll come right up to your door. You could feed them. Really? Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. You want me to call her over? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Sorry, eh? Oh, here she comes. Beautiful, eh? Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. <gasps> oh, no. Look at this. Penguino. How long he Oh no, it's still, it's flapping its little hairy wings. Oh my god! The dude jumped from the greatest height he could find! What the f Oh! He's not dead. He He's got brain damage! Dead. Oh. Wait, watch what he says. That's a different one. But it's stunned. Oh you know, shit! <laughs> dude, he's got a but concussion! And stunned. And internal bleeding. <laughs> he fell from like 400 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, how is it not dead, for real? I don't know, but it doing this with its finger arms was... Yeah. <laughs> it's little hands. <laughs> Dean Coral, a serial killer that was active between 1970 and 1973 in Houston, Texas. But he was also known as the Candyman. Nope, not that Candyman. Nope, not, not that Candyman. This Candyman. Yes, we will be talking about this waste of oxygen today, but his story is very interesting because I I actually didn't know about it and I feel like I know everything about every serial killer because I do really love studying and watching true crime and most people don't know about Dean Coral because he was overshadowed by another serial killer which most of you will probably know as John Wayne Gacy who was apprehended four years later in 1978 with a murder count of 33 whereas Dean Coral had only killed 29 boys but most likely even more and he also did that with the help of two accomplices David Brooks and Elmer Wayne Henley whom he was also murdered by in 1973. So let's get into the f***ed up tale of Dean Coral. Whoa, you gotta read this. Okay, uh. You done? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> A man is dead, Chris. Yo. <laughs> I didn't read it. I just, I don't think I can be without him. I don't think I'm strong enough. <laughs> You're right. I am a strong, independent woman, and I don't need anybody to tell me that. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, right. Is this for ghosts? Thermometer. It's for anything. What am I? Whoa! No! What's wrong? Wait, what did it say? You're making me nervous. It said you're gay. <laughs> what we're doing. Chris, if I ever get the opportunity. If you could run, you know who I'm thinking about? Oh, I know exactly who you're thinking about. Put him over, would you? Oh! I didn't see him. I thought it was a bird. A bird. I don't know why, but I sort of like you. Me and my <laughs> Would you ever, like, do a love spell or something? Wait, have you done a love spell? There's probably a good chance that you're either a raging alcoholic or you like to be choked. Or both. Joke's on you because we don't drink. Yeah, so... Look at that! How much money would it take for you to do that? Mm -mm. How much money? Well, I might do it for the views. How many, how many views? <laughs> five, 20 million views, 5 million likes. That's Damn! Doable. That's doable. What that's, about you? That's generous. I do it for 50 bucks. <laughs> 
It doesn't even have to be filmed. I get for a meal. I get hot, hot home cooked meal.